knowing who they're playing, then we'll go home for a day or so. Shannon with the second free throw, and it's good, and it's 7-4. to four. The Illini lead is 3, which is their biggest lead. Here is Hepburn, right of the lane, out top to Crow, inside the wall, and a foul from behind on Quincy Gary. As it came right there at the Big Ten logo, as we look at it just in front of us here, we're about the free throw line extended on this end of the court where Wisconsin is in the offensive end. Crown out top to Wall. Now to A.J. Store gets a pick, rolls left, pull up from 15, is good. A.J. Store hits a free throw line jumper. He averages 16 a game. And the Illini lead cut to one. It's seven to six. Yeah, A.J. had a tough game yesterday. We don't want him to get going, as Coach said. Here's a jumper by Shannon from out top. Missed it, no good. Long carom to Shannon. Hawkins with a step back. Tough three. Short with a hand in his face. And the rebound to Wisconsin. 7-6 is the Illini lead. Klesman dribbles to the top of the key. Right wing to Wall. Spin down. Bad pass out of bounds. Led Crowell too much. Goes into the cheerleaders for the Illini. Off to our right. And without a turnover for Wisconsin. They didn't turn it over much in this tournament. They don't turn it over much, period. But that was great defense by Marcus. Really sat on top of that screen where he was. He had to be, you know, make a, a very difficult pass. And that ball just skied it out of bounds. 7-6 Illinois. 16 minutes to go. First half. Here is the mass dribbling. Right wing. Gary A. Open three. Yes, Got sir. it. Quincy Gary A. It's his first three of the day from the right wing. And the Illini lead is four at 10-6. Here is Hepburn, and he's, he drives right. He's fouled by Ty Rogers with a reach in. Yeah, just got a little bit too close. And with that, we'll take a break here in Minneapolis. Illinois 10, Wisconsin 6. Back with more from the Target Center after this on the Busey Bank. Illini Sports Network from Learfield. Hey Illini fans, it's Martin O'Donnell here to talk to you about U of I's College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. LAS is home to over 70 majors, including biology, foreign languages, psychology, communication, statistics, chemistry, and much more. It's the perfect place to pursue your passions and achieve your goals. As an alum myself, I can tell you there's nothing like the power of an LAS education. Learn more by visiting go.illinois.edu slash LAS. Which schools will take home the prestigious Learfield Directors Cup for the 2023-24 college athletic season? You can follow the Matt here for Brew Pub Lots and Mott's Pizza. Does it seem like you're camping in the forest of complaints when it comes to your kids and dinner time? Phrases like, what even is that? And, we're having that again? Or, seriously, are getting tossed around like a frisbee at the beach. I know you want to break free from the barrage of bemoaning, so toss in a Brew Pub Lots and Mott's Pizza for dinner tonight. That thin crust, delicious sauce, and mountain of mozzarella will have the kids singing your praises at dinner time. Snag a Brew Pub Lots and Mott's Pizza today from the freezer section in your local grocery store. Hey Badgers, spring is right around the corner and so is the annual Crazy Legs Classic. Sign up today for the 8K run or two-mile walk on April 27th and celebrate 175 years of UW-Madison. For more information and to register, visit crazylegsclassic.com. That's crazylegsclassic.com. The annual Crazy Legs Classic, a Madison tradition unlike any other. Make sure you participate on April 27th. It's Ford Truck Month. Are you ready? And we're celebrating 47 years as the best-selling trucks in America with special once-a-year offers on Ford F-Series. Are you ready? Featuring the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Ford Super Duty, the 2024 North American Truck of the Year. Celebrate with us, America. This is Ford Truck Month. Based on 1977 to 2023 industry reported total sales. Our coverage of Wisconsin basketball in the postseason is brought to you by Everlight Solar. Save money, save the planets. 15.45 left of the first half. Illinois leads Wisconsin 10-6. to 6. 
So far, good start for Wisconsin. As far as the pace of this game, it's exactly the way Wisconsin wants to play. I haven't felt once that Illinois has been off and running where legs are going to become an issue later on. They're doing a good job of making sure that it's kind of a half-court game. I know Wisconsin's playing a little bit faster than everyone expects Wisconsin to as well. But overall, really good. Because, again, you do have to worry about the four games in four days. John Blackwell on the lineup now. Inbounds to Nolan Winter at the top of the circle. Going to Max Lesman high to left. Moving right off the of winter screen. Screen and roll as Winter goes to the goal. Knocked out of bounds by Hawkins. In the main Wisconsin basketball, Justin Harmon in for Illinois. 6'4 grad student from Chicago along with Dane Danger. Bounce pass, Hepburn to Wall, gets it back to Chucky. Outside right, Shannon picked him up. Hepburn kicks it to Klesman, snaps off a three, left side, book it. Max Klesman with a triple, and it's 10-9 the Illini. And Klesman trying to pick up the mask at the backcourt. Wall kind of creeping up as well. The mask is to the cross, the mid trap, and a show trap. Now back out. A pass to Coleman, Hawkins out for him. Hawkins trying to direct traffic. Again, was content of backcourt pressure just to get him off kilter a little bit if possible. Terrence Shannon now against Wall on the switch out between the circle. Shannon sizes him up. Drives, kicks, Coleman, baseline right, goes to the goal. Uncontested miss, the layup, rebound battled for, and Danger gets it back. Look what I found, and lays it up and in 12 9 Illinois. It's the rebound we're, re rebounding we're talking about. You've got to clean that one up. Here's Hepburn to the line, down the lane, to the rim, off the glass, no good. Rebound to Justin Harmon of Illinois, pushing it to Mass, leaves it for Shannon, driving to the line, runs it back out to Hawkins, wide open three, left of the circle, around and out, no good. Rebound, Shannon, runs up in the charge. wall, charge, yes, call on is. Shannon. Wall got there, and that's a call you're not going to get a ton. But Tyler was able to establish legal guarding position before the plant foot hit the floor. Well, and the reason it was because it was an offensive rebound. <laughs> Tyler didn't get the body, but he got rewarded because it was a long rebound. So he was there. AJ Store coming in for Max Klesman. Luke Goody, three-point specialist, checking in for the Illini, replacing Coleman Hawkins. 14.35 left in the half. 12-9 Illinois. Kamari McGee on the floor for Wisconsin as Hepburn takes a break. Kamari brings it up on the right side of the front court. Working off screens from Roll and Winter. Shuffling left, kills the dribble, throws the Winter between the circles. Rotates to the score at the right point. Off the Winter's screen. Thought about it. Whips at the wall instead. Tyler with one dribble. Takes the hand off to Blackwell. Looks for help. Kicks it out right side for McGee. Eight to shoot. Kamari against Harmon. Left of the lane. Tough shot. Good. How Kamari. good has he been to coming back? Boy, no kidding. He's been a difference maker. No question. 12-11 Illinois. Damask against Blackwell. Store knocks it free. It's loose. Diving for it is McGee. Sends it ahead to Blackwell. Right of the lane. Whip out Store. Left corner three. Yes, sir. Brought to you by Kamari McGee, who got it all started. 14-12 Wisconsin. 13-42 left in the first half. Rogers throwing to Damask, whips it back to Rogers, baseline right up in traffic, no good. Nolan Winter the rebound. Outlet to Blackwell, left sideline to the front court. Off the Winter screen, a bump, a play on, right elbow jumper, in and out, no good. Dane Danger clears it for the Illini. Damask ahead to Rogers, driving on Wall, knocked away by Wall, off of Rogers and out of bounds to Wisconsin. His team defensively has been so good, and it's because of plays like Kamari McGee. He dives on the floor, gets the ball, passes ahead to John Blackwell. John drives, and then he finds A.J. for three. Like, those are the plays that are so different about this team than three weeks ago even. 13-15 left in the half, 14-12 Wisconsin. Crowell back in there. He and Winter on the floor together. Stevie left to the circle, throws to Nolan Winter on the right side, hands off to Blackwell. Gets it to Crowell at the top with 10 to shoot. Now A.J., 4-3, left side. Off the rim, no good. Ty Rogers the rebound. Rogers up the floor for the Illini. High pass, pulled down to Mass. Quick pass, Justin Harmon on the right side. He'll retreat. Blackwell defending, and Harmon walks it out near half court. 12.43 left in the half, 14-12 Wisconsin. Harmon off the danger screen. Feeds Luke Goody against A.J. Storm. Goody darts a pass to Rogers, backing on Winter. Rogers in the lane, still backing, still backing, twisting, clipped it up, and in with the right hand for the low on the left. Rogers with four, and we're tied at 14, 12.25 left in the half. Blackwell for Wisconsin. 
Going at the winter, leads it for Kamari McGee at the top. Soft bounce for Crow, high on the right. He'll toss to Blackwell. Blackwell sends to Winter outside left. Gets it to Store. AJ left wing against Goody. AJ baseline left, moving it under mass, moving in. One pop. There's a block from behind by Goody. Store digs it out of there, tries again, and an effort bucket from AJ Store. 16-14, Wisconsin, 11.55 to the break. It's a man's move right there, Matt. He is playing with serious purpose. Here's Damask on the right side. And a back down on Blackwell. Backing, turns baseline, jumper away is good. First points for Marcus Damask, tied at 16. 11.35 left of the first half. He to the front court for Wisconsin. Screens from Crowell and Winter. Turns a corner. Left of the lane. Driving again off balance. Off the left side. Iron no good. Danger had the rebound. Lost his balance. Went out of bounds. It'll belong to Wisconsin as we hit the under 12 media timeout. The All of Us Research Program in Wisconsin aims to speed up medical research by asking Wisconsinites to share health information. Learn more at allofus.wisc.edu and Sitco Top Tier Tri-Clean Gasoline helps your engine run smoother and cleaner along the way. If you start with Sitco, you're good to go. 11.26 left of the first half. Wisconsin 16, Illinois 16. This is Badger Basketball from Learfield. Bedroom too hot? Basement too cold? A MyDia ductless system is the perfect solution for room-by-room -room comfort control without the headache of a major renovation. As you look for ways to maximize your space, MyDia can provide you with a customizable solution to meet your needs. To learn more, visit MyDiaMidwest.com. That's M-I-D-E-A Midwest.com. Proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. I'm Sawyer, and I'm Shannon. Together, we're Twin Stunts, the only twin motorcycle freestyle show in the world. We are born and raised in Wisconsin, so we want all our fellow cheeseheads to know that even though we clutch it up, hit 12, and drift in our show, we would never do it on the open road. And there's another thing we would never do on the road. Drive, Drive drunk. drunk. Drive sober. Or get pulled over. Together, we can save lives. Learn more at zeroinwisconsin.gov. Wisconsin DOT. Life's better with a home policy from American Family Insurance because you'll feel protected no matter how the wind blows. Also, you can keep enjoying the home of your dreams. And our expert agents can help you save up to 23% when you bundle home with auto. Insure carefully. Dream fearlessly. American Family Insurance. Get a quote? Find an agent at AmFam.com. Products not available in every state. Visit AmFam.com to learn how discounts may apply to you. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, S.I. and its operating company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. Menards is a proud sponsor of Wisconsin Athletics. It reminds everyone to save big money on all your home improvement needs at Menards. And Badger fans, today's game is brought to you by the official products of Wisconsin Athletics. Brew pub, lots of lots of pizza, old Dutch chips, and Pepsi. 11 minutes, 26 seconds left of the first half. Wisconsin 16, Illinois 16. A.J. Store with nine points early on for the back. And he's been aggressive offensively. The only thing that, was, that I'll say here about Wisconsin is they've given him five offensive rebounds already early in this game, nine minutes into it. Got to clean that area up. That's where Illinois gets some of their stuff. But when you get them in the half court, their defense, Wisconsin's defense, has been really good. It's such an interesting matchup in that rebounding category because the Badgers are among the best defensive rebounding yes. teams in terms of percentage, while Illinois is a top-20 team in offensive rebound percentage. But yeah, you're right. They're getting an edge, but ironically enough, Wisconsin the edge early in second chance points 5-4. to four. Yeah, Wisconsin 13th in the nation. Yeah. As far as offensive rebounding rate on the defense bat. Well, Illinois is 18 in the offensive class. Ty Rogers in particular, it's like he walks out on the floor, he's going to get you a couple. Right? He just, he's, a, you know, he's a guy, you know, Terrence Shannon um, yep. is a star. Marcus Damask is a star. Ty Rogers might not fit that description, but he's a great guy to have in your program. He had 13 boards, 7 on the offensive class yesterday. He's got 23 total in these two games in yeah. the tournament. So he's found a way to stay back the game. As a non-shooter, that's how he impacts it. Badgers with their original starting five on the floor now with Hepburn, Klesman, Storr, Crowell, and Wall. 20 on the shot clock. 11.26 left in the half. 
Badgers and Illini tied at 16. Hepper in baseline left. Sends it out the store between the circles. A bounce into Klesman. In the lane. The floater. It's good. Play that got him and his team to this championship game. A runner in the lane from Max. 18-16 Wisconsin. 11-10 left of the first half. Damask at the center circle against Klesman. Garrier sets a screen. Damask will use it. Max works over to throw to Garrier in the lane against Crow. Holes spots 12 feet away. Banked it. Missed it. Rebound wall. Here comes Tyler Wall for the Badgers. But court stops right point. Turns it back out to Hepburn against Justin Harmon. Hepburn surveys. Works off a wall screen. Left of the lane. Stops at the block. Sends it back out to Crow. Now, takes the hand off the store. Pivots. He'll toss the wall. Ten to shoot. Wall retreats. Coleman Hawkins is on it. Now here's AJ against Terrence Shannon. A step back three straight on. Too long, no good. Rebound Justin Harmon, Illinois. 10-30 left in the half. 18-16 Wisconsin. Hawkins throwing to Garrier on the right side. Operates against Crowd. Now Harmon versus Stork. Harmon got by AJ to the rim. The layup is good. Justin Harmon's first points. He hurt Wisconsin in the first game. He had 10 points. He got a matchup on March 2nd. Tied at 18. 10-10 left in the half. Hepburn right elbow. Moving in on Hawkins. Turns it back out to Klesman against the mask. High on the left. Max loops it inside. Caught by Crowell. He's with Shannon. Advantage Stevie. Let's see if he can go to work. Backing on Shannon. Left block. Goes up. Under. Up. Way short. Got his own rebound. Back up and in. It's a big boy move right there, Matt. It's a big boy move. There's a lot of contact. Don't worry about the contact. Just go get it if you miss it. Badgers up two. Here's Gary A for three. Left of the circle. Off the rim. No good. Rebound. Back tap the mask out to Coleman Hawkins. To the line. Kick out right side. Harmon. Three shot right corner. That's off the rim. Hepburn clears for Wisconsin. 22-18 the Badgers. 9.30 left in the half. Hepburn will set the floor outside left against Justin Harmon. Off the crowd screen. Chucky on the right side. Left hand dribble in the lane. Kicks to Klesman. Max all pump and offensive foul on Klesman. Popped into Marcus Damask. And that's the first foul on Max. Greg Guard, none too pleased. Yeah, and it, I mean I don't I don't think Marcus was set on that. Damask comes out. Goody, Ty Rogers, Shannon, Hawkins, and Harmon. Here's Rogers at the left elbow for the Illini. Isolated on wall. Backing is Rogers, still backing. Right block, up right hand. Back rim, no. Rebound yanked down by Storr. Rogers up two, nine minutes left in the half. AJ, hard left hand dribble down the lane. Snoops to the rim. Layup, no, but a foul. Oh, AJ Storr, he saw Justin Harmon. And that's the shark seeing blood. AJ going to work, and now he's at the free throw line. Well, it's amazing when the guards come in and rebound, and AJ averaging two more rebounds in this tournament than he did all season. But what that allows you to do is be able to get the ball off the rim, and you can push it. So you start an initial break, and if no one's going to stop, you keep going. And that's exactly what happened there with AJ. There's nine points so far. First trip to the line, better than 81% from the line coming into this championship game, and he hits the first free throw. 21-18 Wisconsin, 8.58 left in the first half. Second free throw for A.J. Storm. Eyes the rim, flips it, hits it. 22-18 Wisconsin, 8.58 left in the first half. Wall showing a little backboard resistance for Rodgers, and he'll quickly burst it to the front court, drives right, lane on the lane, and the lane got tied up by Wall, but they say he got some arm, so that's going to be the second foul on Tyler Wall. And if you're just starting to follow Wisconsin basketball now, this is a matchup of two coaches who tend not to play their guys with a couple of fouls in the first half. You can... Not always. You can kind of bend that rule a little bit, but he's not going to do it here as Greg Gard's going to send in Carter Gilmore in the next moment or so as Rodgers hits the first free throw, and now Gilmore is in for Wall. That's the only problem about picking up. We've talked about Wisconsin trying to pick up a little bit early. If you get beat, you're put on the side. That's one where Tyler's got to stay on the side, not try to go for the ball, and realize that there's got to be some help there. Second free throw coming up for Ty Rogers, and he missed the second. Klesmith the rebound. Rogers a 63% free throw shooter. He splits here. 22-19 Wisconsin. 8.43 left of the first half. Crowell for three. Up top. Back rim and out. No good. Harmon the rebound for Illinois. Good look. 
Eric Shannon, right sideline for the Illini. A pull-up three is good. He's a 36% three-point shooter. He was 5 of 9 yesterday. This game tied at 22. 8.25 left of the first half. Tepperin throwing to Crow high on the right, rotates to Store against Shannon. Store flips to Gilmore. Order Gilmore with a hand off to Hepper in top of the circle. Harmon defends. Chuck trying to go to work. Pivots in the lane. Gets it out of there to Crow. Hands it back to Hepper and 10 to shoot. Chuck behind the left. Inside feet. Crow catches. Goes up. No good. Knocked away. Looked like from behind. He thought he had Harmon. And then Harmon had help backside. Here comes Shannon. He was driving. Lost the handle. Store is trying to save. Throws it up in the air. Pulled down by Gilmore. What a play by A.J. Store. Made a couple of them on the defensive end here in his first Tab, and now almost getting his pocket picked, and he did. Max Klesman got bothered by Ty Rogers, knocked it loose, and went off of Max. And then out of bounds, it'll be Illinois basketball when play continues. Calling all Badger fans, American Family Insurance wants you and one friend to experience a Badger football and basketball game like VIPs. Enter the Badger Dream Game Day sweepstakes at amfam.com slash badgers. No purchase necessary. American Family Mutual Insurance Company SI and its operating company, 6000 American Parkway. Madison, Wisconsin. And our coverage of Wisconsin basketball in the postseason is brought to you by Everlight Solar. Save money, save the planet. 7.44 left in the half. Wisconsin 22, Illinois 22. This is Badger Basketball from Learfield. Wouldn't it be great if life came with a remote control? You know, you could hit pause when you needed to, or hit rewind, like that time you knocked down that wasp's nest. Uh-oh. Well, life doesn't always give you time to change the outcome, but pre-diabetes does. With early diagnosis and a few healthy changes, you can stop pre-diabetes before it leads to type 2 diabetes. To learn your risk, take the one-minute test today at doihaveprediabetes.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and its pre-diabetes awareness partners. When might you be buzzed? When you suddenly love everything. You guys, I love this song. I love these nachos. I love our kickball league. Ugh. I love this guy. What's your name? You know what I love? A ride when it's time to head out. If you see a buzzed warning sign, call for a ride when it's time to go home. Buzz driving is drunk driving. A message from NHTSA and the Ad Council. I love your car. Is this real leather? When you're high, you feel different. You think different, you talk different, you draw different, you listen to music different, but you probably knew that. Problem is, you also drive different, and not in a good way. That's why driving high is illegal everywhere. So if you're high, just don't drive. Make a plan to get a sober ride. Because if you feel different, you drive different. Brought to you by NHTSA and the Ad Council. Sometimes I just cannot believe all the storms we've gone through here. I can only hope that we'll be able to leave this house to you one day, baby. You're our legacy. Planning for these disasters will make sure we're safe. And it's the best way to protect that legacy. Protect your legacy. Visit ready.gov forward slash plan for the tools and tips you need to start your emergency preparedness plan today. Brought to you by FEMA and the Ad Council. Wisconsin basketball brought to you by Rail Transport, offering truck driving jobs, CDL training, and so much more across Wisconsin. Learn more at rail.jobs. And by UW Health, the sports medicine, the health care team for the Badgers, are proud sponsors of UW Athletics. 7.44 left in the first half, Wisconsin and Illinois tied at 22. Well, Butchie, yesterday's game was no more than a two-possession game, and that's how it's been so far here, so... Get used to it, I suppose, Badger fans. Well, it's March. That's what's going to happen. That's, That's what right. should happen. Yep. Let's put it that way. And you're not going to have a lot of blowouts, and you don't want to get blown out. You're going to have good basketball teams going against good basketball teams. That's the result you're going to get. And it's all those little things throughout the game that you've got to stay in tune with. Offensive rebounds. Make sure you don't have it. Now, even though we talked last break about Illinois having, you know, six offensive rebounds, Wisconsin has four of their own. So even though that's been a concern on the defensive end for Wisconsin, they're still outscoring Illinois 9-4 to four in second chance points. So they're doing their job too. Badgers will continue without Tyler Wall out with that second foul. So you've got Carter Gilmore in for him. Nolan Winter in the lineup. John Blackwell re-enters as Ty Rogers up the floor for the Illini. 
Hands off to Damas, picked up by Blackwell, and he knocked it free, but a foul is called on Blackwell. That'll be his first. And man, I like the physicality of Wisconsin. They did that against Purdue. But now you're at a point where you've got to watch it a little bit. Be smart. Yep. You've got to be smart. You can't have cheap ones. Team foul number five against Wisconsin. Luke Goody, sideline left inbounds to Rodgers. He'll hand it to Damask. High on the left. A pass for Coleman Hawkins, picked up by Gilmore, top of the arc. Hawkins surveys, shovels it to Damask. Right foul line extended. Faces up, puts it on the deck. Low on the right. Damask inside, pushed it up and out, but a foul. And Marcus Damas will go back to the free throw line. And there's a reason, and I said you have to be, because those are the fouls you pick up. That's a battle. Marcus fights through, gets enough contact, walks underneath them, and that's where the foul is. So now they get to the free throw line. And Blackwell just picked up his second. Damask, an 88% free throw shooter, and he is good to the first, so... Like yesterday, the Badgers getting themselves into some foul difficulties as the freshman John Blackwell will come out. Max Plesman is back in. And that's where picking up the one out way beyond the three-point line hurts you because yeah. guess what? Two seconds, or 15 seconds later, you get up to second. Second free throw to Mass. That's no good. Rebound secured by A.J. Store. 23-22 Illinois, 7-15 left of the break. Max Klesman off the high screen from Winter, throws to Gilmore, high on the left. He'll flip to Hepper. And we're refusing the Winter screen. They put it on the deck, got fouled by Ty Rogers, and that'll be his second. It's team foul number five on the Illini. So Justin Harmon ready to check back in for Illinois as Rogers will sit down. As A.J. Storr set to throw it in, sideline left. He'll toss it to Gilmore, hands it back to Storr. Right of the lane, step back, one pump, throws it up off the glass, tried to follow it, he missed, Gilmore came up with it, up in traffic, yes, and one! Carter Gilmore working hard inside, Brad Underwood thought Gilmore walked, Brian Dorsey says nope, count the bucket, free throw coming up for Carter Gilmore. Everybody is finding a way to have an impact on this game. Carter's just carving out space underneath there. AJ throws it up trying to go to himself. <laughs> but, but Carter's carving out the space, and he gets rewarded. And Gilmore hits the free throw. Foul on Luke Goody. 25-23 Wisconsin. 6.55 left of the first half. Damask against Klesman outside left. A pass for Coleman Hawkins at the top. Hawkins against Winter. No toss to Damask. Left elbow. Moving it in on Klesman. Pivots, pivots again, fades from eight, and scores from eight feet away in the lane. Good defense, though. They started the back down farther out than they did at the Cole Center, and then it was a tough shot. 25-25, 6.30 left of the first half. Chucky Hepburn weaving through traffic and is fouled in the process. That'll go against Justin Harmon, and that will be his second, and the team's seventh, so a one-and-one one for Chucky Hepburn as Stephen Crow is set to come back in. Take an ID at the next opportunity here. 6.27 left of the first half. Wisconsin and Illinois tied at 25. One and one for Hepburn. Front end is good. The Badgers yesterday were 5 of 9 at the free throw line. Purdue was a lot more for a lot more. But Wisconsin did attempt 32 threes in that game. Second free throw is good for Hepburn. And it's 27-25. Wisconsin, 6.25 left in the half. Damask against Max Klesman. Now driving picked up by Crow. Right lane line. Kick out Coleman Hawkins. Hawkins picked up by Gilmore. Hawkins directing a little bit of traffic right now. And a bounce intended for Shannon. Got fouled by Crow. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. 10 for an ID. This is Badger Basketball from Learfield. Stephen Crowell, his first team's seventh. Dre Gibbs Lawhorn coming in for Illinois now, replacing Harmon, who sits down with two fouls. Gibbs Lawhorn, 6 1 freshman out of Lafayette, Indiana. Terrence Shannon, a 1 and 1. He has five points, two of two at the free throw line. Front end is good. 
27-26 Wisconsin, 6.09 left of the first half. Well, Wisconsin's done a good job on Shannon as far as limiting his shot attempts. Only three of them. They've been into him and they've on the catch, which has limited any ability that he's had either to get to the rim or take a shot. How about that 40-point performance yesterday? Calmly hits both free throws. The game tied again at 27. Max Klesman jogs it up the floor for Wisconsin. He'll flip it to Carter Gilmore at the left point. A toss for Hepburn. It's a foul screen. Chuck right lane line goes up on the block. Good off the glass. Hepburn with point. He just stole the ball from Damask. Hepburn with another defensive play, throwing to Crow. 5.45 left to the half, 29-27 Wisconsin. Hepburn off the Crow screen, throws to Gilmore, leaves it for Max Klesman. Max flips it back to Gilmore, left of the lane, backing on Damas, backing, backing left block, and he threw it away, trying to kick it back out to Klesman, turnover Wisconsin. Chuck is saying, that's all right, just calm down a little bit. 5.32 left in the half, 29-27 Wisconsin. But that's what Chucky does, being aggressive, getting to the basket, getting it still. Yeah, there was a turnover on that possession, but overall, like, it's been so fun to watch him. Marcus Damas working off a screen, and they're going to get a foul called on Klesman trying to fight over the screen, and he put, let's say he put Damas to the floor, and that'll be the second on Max Klesman. So... Now troubles mounting here for Wisconsin. Damask back at the free throw line where he's one of two, five points. A grad student out of Waupon, Wisconsin. Kamari McGee will come back in for the Badgers. Yeah, and you've got to get Max out. That's when Kamari McGee comes in. And that's where Badger fans didn't realize how valuable Kamari McGee is. Situations like this with 524 left, when you didn't have Kamari, there wasn't really that guy to come in and buy some time. Because you got Wall with two, Klesman with two, and Blackwell all with two fouls for Wisconsin. Run in for Damask, back rim and in. Members bounce for Marcus Damask, 29-28 Wisconsin, 524 left in the first half. Star at Southern Illinois and a star for the Illini, Marcus Damask. Made the first free throw and the second is on the way and good. And it's now 29-29. Here's Kamari McGee for Wisconsin. He'll throw it to Crow left of the circle. Looks it to A.J. Store against Terrence Shannon trying to get into him. Store now drives around him and Hawkins low on the right layup. No, tipped up and in by Gilmore. And Carter Gilmore has five. How about the energy Carter's given this team today? 31-29 Wisconsin. Five minutes left in the half. Damask against McGee. A screen from Hawkins. Damask off the left wing. In the lane. Little Euro step. Floater in and out. Stays out. Rebound. Store. Bodies on the floor. Foul called on Goody as he was colliding with Gilmore. And Luke Goody is feeling it a little bit. Grimacing as he gets some help from his teammates. And... Uh, Lower back looks like it's an issue right now for Goody, who just picked up his second foul, and we it's go to the other end yeah, for one one Carter Gilmore to the free throw line here. You look at what Carter's done. Five points, two rebounds. I mean, it's the energy he's played with. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's brought more energy than anyone on the floor. He's found ways to craft out space so he can get points, all that. Dane Danger comes in for Goody, walking gingerly over to the Illinois bench. Blackwell will check in. Carter Gilmore is just such a, he's a guy that you, you love to have on your team. I mean, last year, and we've we actually seen it from time to time with foul trouble, they're asking him to guard fives. Yeah. That's a big ask. It's, it's huge. But you will just say, whatever you want, I'll give you everything I have. And he hits the front end. One more free throw coming up for Carter Gilmore. Now, John Blackwell in for Chucky Hepburn. 4.51 left. I would imagine Coach Gard plays these 51 seconds out until you get to that four-minute mark with two fouls for John. Now I expect Chucky to come right back into that game. Let's see if John can get through this minute without picking up that third. Both free throws good for Gilmore. 33-29 Wisconsin, 4.44 left in the half. Damask out front. Out between the circles against Kamari McGee. A soft bounce for Shannon against Blackwell. Shannon darts it inside. Damask low on the right layup. Good. 33-31 Wisconsin, 4.30 left to the break. 
He up the left sideline around a little bump from Crowell. A throw to Gilmore. Hands off the store. AJ against Shannon. Good Puts decision. It to Crowell. Yep. Crowell kills the dribble. Gives off the Blackwell around a Crowell screen. A toss for Gilmore. Right hand flip for store. A shot fake. Nothing there. Gets it to Gilmore. Eight to shoot. Gilmore up top. Flips a three. Back rim no good. A rebound. Comes down to Illinois and gives Lawhorn. Illinois down two. Here's Shannon driving in the lane. Scoops it up. Missed it, but a foul. Gilmore was trying to get there for Wisconsin. A hold your breath moment on who this is going to be called on here. I think it's Gilly. I think and it's it is. Gilly. Absolutely. It's his first. As we're at the four-minute media timeout. At U.S. Bank, we know when you invest in a community, the community invests in you. We are committed to providing high-quality, innovative products and services to meet the needs and demands of our customers. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Four minutes left in the first half. Wisconsin 33, Illinois 31. This is Badger Basketball from Learfield. This basketball season, let LRS be your MVP in the waste diversion and recycling industry. There won't be any turnovers when it comes to the services that LRS provides its valued customers, especially with services such as waste and recycling collection for businesses, roll-off dumpster rentals, and portable restrooms that are perfect for any construction, renovation, or outdoor event. See the LRS difference by choosing the team with over 2,000 dedicated employees that puts trust and reliability first. LRS, Wisconsin's local waste and recycling leader. That to-do list you have needs one more thing. Chill. It's an easy thing to do. Just crack open an ice-cold Coors Light and chill. Take the afternoon off and binge watch anything. Go to happy hour and stay for a couple hours. Who's counting anyways? Or hang out with just your dog, because you've had enough human interaction this week. Whatever you do, do it with a Coors Light. Mountain cold refreshment made to chill. 2020 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Celebrate responsibly. Any team can be conquered with the right playbook. It takes human ingenuity to craft and adapt the plays that will defeat even the strongest opponents. The moves that dominate on the field, the court, the ice. And cancer treatment is no different. That's why UW Health Carbone Cancer Center uses ingenuity to combat complex cancers. As the number one cancer hospital in Wisconsin, we're proud to write the playbook on fighting cancer so you always have the number one team in your corner. UW Health. Remarkable. Listen to coverage of the NCAA Championships on the Varsity Network app, powered by Learfield. Fans can hear Westwood One's exclusive national coverage, along with most school broadcasts through a multicast option. That's only on the Varsity Network app, available for free in your app store. Four minutes left in the first half, Wisconsin 33, Illinois 31. Partner, buckle up. We're going to have a good one this whole day. <laughs> this whole day. We talk, I trust Wisconsin on the offensive glass, or at least defensively, trying to block out and limiting uh, the offensive rebounds for Illinois. Illinois has not gotten a rebound, offensive rebound since we brought that up about eight minutes ago of gameplay. So they've done a great job of that. However, Wisconsin on the other side of it, they've gotten four offensive rebounds since that time, and they've increased that second chance points. And they're leading Illinois by 10, 14 to 4. Yeah, it's been a big part. A lot of that's been Carter Gilmore and has. the energy he's brought in. Yeah, Gilly with five points and a couple of offensive rebounds. I beg your pardon, he has seven points because he's three of three at the foul line and a couple of buckets to go with it. Now, we'll see uh, how the rest of this first half plays out. You got Tyler Wall, limited minutes, two fouls. Max Klesman, two fouls. And John Blackwell with two fouls. And as you, as you suggested, Chucky Hepper with one foul coming back in off of that media break. Well, it was 51 seconds, and it was close yep. because Billy had the charge, but John yes. was right on the side because John had to, uh, Shannon Jr. So I think that was a big, big part of that game that you're happy that John didn't pick up that third. He gave Chucky enough time to rest. Now with that media timeout, you got four minutes left. He'll be just fine. That's one of those things you got to monitor with four games in four days. Terrence Shannon, four or four at the free throw line, seven points. Four free throws and a three so far for Shannon. Shooting two, and he is short with the first. Illinois a 74% free throw shooting team. The Badgers at about 75 and a half percent. Brian suggested Illinois just gets to the foul line a ton. Led by Terrence Shannon. This the first, second on the way, and it's good. 33-32 Wisconsin. 
Gilmore, McGee, Hepburn, Crow, and Store, the five of the floor for Wisconsin. McGee against Ray Gibbs, Wallhorn. Amari right side, front court, throws it to Gilmore, left of the circle. Passes off to Stephen Crow, gets it out to Hepburn, weaving to the free throw line, pull up foul line, jumper is good for Chucky Hepburn, he has six. 35-32, Wisconsin. I'm telling you, that's what was missing a little bit in that stretch was Chucky being aggressive when he's that like that. Watch out. 3.30 left in the half. The mask against McGee, edge of the center circle, throwing to Shannon. Shannon backs up with Hepburn off a dangerous screen. Shannon turns the corner, left lane, I push it up left hand, good. That's a tough action. It's a chin action where the big sets the up screen, the guard comes off and goes right into a ball screen. Puts Big Steve in a tough situation, but he's got to be higher up on that. 35-34, Wisconsin, 307 left in the half. Store throws to Gilmore, left wing. Sends it back out to Store. A.J. High left, puts it on the deck, down the lane to the rim, tried to spike it, missed it, but a foul. Oh, A.J. Store with more bad intentions, a man's take, and he'll go to the free throw line for two shots. And a foul. See so they assess it, I think it, They're going to get danger. danger. They're yep. going to get danger on it. That'll be his first. Store to the free throw line where he is two of two. He has 11 points here so far. Badgers up one, 259 left in the half. First free throw for A.J. Store on the way and good. I'd love to say something right now, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bite my yeah, tongue right we're gonna now. We're going to go a little baseball. I'm bite my tongue. We're going to go baseball avoiding of the yes. jinx. Yes. <laughs> Wait for after the fact. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep. Second free throw is in and out and back in. And the Badgers remain perfect at the free throw line. <laughs> My tongue is nine. bleeding, but, I, I but gotcha. it was well worth it. Nine of nine here for Wisconsin. 37-34, the Badgers. 248 left of the break. Shannon out front. Puts it on the deck in the lane. Push it up left hand. No good. Rebound. Danger. Knocked away. Got it back. Kicked it out. Gibbs Walhorn. And now takes the three. Drives off the wing in the lane. Scoops it up and in. Pretty move from Dre Gibbs Walhorn. 37-36 Wisconsin. 227 left to the half. Gilmore throwing to Hepburn. Shakes right. Moves left. And as he was shaken, they'll say he walked with the ball. Turnover Wisconsin. This cue's matched up at five. 224 left in the half, 37-36. The Badgers lead Illinois. Marcus Damask picked up in the backcourt by Kamari McGee. Damask will walk it through the center circle. This is up Wisconsin's defense. A bounce for Shannon, high on the right. Paces up on Hepburn. Shannon lets it fly. Three if it goes. That is an air ball out of bounds to Wisconsin. 207 left in the half. Badgers up one, 37 36. Even though Shannon has 10 points, he's had to work for all of this. Two is six, one and two from three. But they've been pressed into him a lot, which makes it tough. He throwing to Crow, high on the right, one dribble, a handoff to Hepburn. Chucky dribbles to the baseline on the right side, turns it back out to Gilmore. But inside, a toss to Chucky, baseline right again, probing. Whipped it back out to Crow as Chucky fell down. Now Store has a seven to shoot. AJ stamps off a three straight on, straight in. Knew it on the release. 40 to 36, Wisconsin, a minute 35 left of the half. Damask busting up the right sideline of the front court against Kamari McGee. Damask out between the circles. Off a danger screen. McGee working over it. Damask throws to Hawkins at the top. Hawkins reverses the Gibbs Wallhorn. He'll drift out front against Gilmore. A pass to Hawkins high on the left. He's with Store. Eight to shoot. Hawkins dribbles off the wing. Lost the handle. Got it back. Beads Gibbs Wallhorn for three. Thugs off the back rim. No good. Crow the rebound. Outlet to Hepburn, 108 left in the half, four-point lead Wisconsin. Hepburn on the left side against Marcus Damas. Turns to the baseline, driving in the lane, whipped it out the store. Takes the three, takes the three, and that's going to be wide left by a lot. Caught inside by Dane Danger. And it goes to Terrence Shannon. He will bust it down the lane to the rim, layup good. Those bad shots are like turnovers as Illinois using a timeout with 50 seconds left in the first half. Wisconsin 40, Illinois 38. And I don't know if it was a bad shot, but he didn't shoot the first one. There was a hesitation and then tries to shoot it there. That That's why it's a bad shot. Yes. 
because it was a drive to the paint. You got your paint touch. You had your spray out. It was fine. Let that thing rip. Yep. Instead, there's a shot fake for no reason, and then a try to shoot it that way. That's a tough one. All those heat checks. The one he made knew it on the release. Yes. The one he missed, everybody in the house knew it was wide left. And no one's going to be bad. If you no. get a paint touch and spray that thing out for your three, you can live with that shot. It'll be Wisconsin basketball, 50 seconds left in the half. Badge was 40, Illinois 38. AJ Store with 16 points. Terrence Shannon has 12 for the Illini. Both teams, the next foul will send the other into the double bonus. Gilmore, Krause, Store, Hepburn, and McGee for Wisconsin. Drake gives Lawhorn, Dane Danger, Damask, Hawkins, and Shannon out there for the Illini as McGee up the middle. Breaks the mid-stripe, angles to the right side, throws to Crow at the top. Finds Hepburn, left elbow. Chucky, a step back, mid-range jumper off the rim, no good. Danger the rebound for the Illini. 35 seconds left in the half. Shannon on the run, a pull-up three, left of the circle is good. And Illinois takes the lead. Yeah, and, and I'll tell you right now, Brad Underwood was yelling for one on that one, and Shannon didn't see him. Bad break there for Wisconsin. 21.6 left in the half. Timeout, Wisconsin. Using a loser taken by Greg Gard. 21.6 seconds left in the half. Illinois 41, Wisconsin 40. Part of this is pretty fun. I keep pretty going good. back and back and forth with you on it, but yeah. my first go around this year, How you I'm liking pretty it? lucky. You liking this, it? this is great. <laughs> There's nothing better than this. I'm telling you right now. And, and again, it goes back to these kids and the way they're doing it. Like, the energy and effort that both of these squads are playing with. And you're seeing the extra plays. You're seeing well, both of them could have the excuses. Four games in four days for Wisconsin. A couple of comebacks needed for Illinois that used a lot of energy. But this is what you're playing for. You're playing for a championship. You're playing for your legacy. It's fantastic. Yeah, you might turn the page a half an hour after the buzzer, yeah. but nobody's yes. thinking about that right no. now. AJ Store sideline rival inbound. Shot clock dark. Game clock at 20 seconds left in the half. 41-40 Illinois. Kamari McGee out front. This great Gibbs Wallhorn down to 13 seconds. Carter Gilmore between the circles. Match up with Dane Danger. A hand off the store with Shannon. Stops mid post left. Splits to defenders. Throws it up right hand. No good. Rebound Coleman Hawkins with four. With three. Hawkins will let it fly from half court. And it is no good. Almost banked it in as the first half comes to an end. And we have ourselves a one point game in this matchup for the Big Ten Championship. WEA member benefits would like to thank all public school educators for their dedication to our communities. WEA member benefits enhancing the financial financial lives of Wisconsin public school employees. Our coverage of Wisconsin basketball in the postseason is brought to you by Everlight Solar. Save money, save the planet. At the half, Illinois 41, Wisconsin 40. We're back with a halftime report presented by Culver's. This is Badger Basketball from Learfield. Hi, I'm Danica Patrick. Watching my nieces grow, play, and learn is amazing, but not every child gets to be carefree. One in six kids in the U.S. are hungry. This breaks my heart, and it's something that Feeding America is working to change. Each year, the Feeding America network of food banks rescues billions of pounds of good food that would have gone to waste and gives it to families in need. To help, visit feedingamerica.org. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. You took the first step and quit smoking, but even former smokers may still be at risk for lung cancer. That's why SaveByTheScan.org wants you to know about a new low-dose CT scan that can detect lung cancer early. It takes only 60 seconds and could save your life. You took the first step, now take the next. Visit SaveByTheScan.org for a simple quiz to see if you're eligible and talk to your doctor about screening. SaveByTheScan.org is brought to you by the American Lung Association's Lung Force Initiative and the Ad Council. At the half, Illinois leads Wisconsin 41 to 40. Terrence Shannon Jr. with 15 points to pace the Illini. Two out of three from long range, five to six at the foul line. Marcus Damask with nine. And on down the line, five points for Ty Rogers, three for Coleman Hawkins, two for Dre Gibbs Lawhorn, two for Dane Danger, and two for Justin Harmon. 
A.J. Storr has 16 for Wisconsin. Carter Gilmore with 7. A couple of offensive rebounds for Gilly. 6 points for Chucky Hepburn, 5 for Max Klesman, and 2 for Kamari McGee. Also 4 points for Stephen Crow. At the half, Illinois 41, Wisconsin 40. Coming up, our halftime conversation presented by American Family Insurance. This is Badger Basketball from Learfield. Hey Badger fans, ready to make a career move that's sure to score big? Join our winning team at UW-Madison. From accountants and chefs to painters and veterinarians, we've got a diverse roster for all skills. As one of the largest employers in Wisconsin, we offer competitive salaries, state group health care, and opportunities to level up your talents. That's what you can expect when you work with Bucky at UW-Madison. Join our dedication to innovation and the Wisconsin idea. Apply today at jobs.wisc.edu slash Bucky and score big with UW-Madison. It takes hard work to be the best in the game. Planning, commitment, resilience, sweat. That's why Old Dominion Freight Line, the number one national LTL carrier for quality, works hard to be the best in the game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs. Old Dominion Freight Line, official freight carrier of Wisconsin Athletics, helping the world keep promises. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, whoa, whoa coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. I'm Sawyer and I'm Shannon. Together, we're Twin Stunts, the only twin motorcycle freestyle show in the world. We are born and raised in Wisconsin, so we want all our fellow cheeseheads to know that even though we clutch it up, hit 12, and drift in our show, we would never do it on the open road. And there's another thing we would never do on the road. Drive, drive drunk. drunk. Drive sober. Or get pulled over. Together, we can save lives. Learn more at zeroinwisconsin.gov. Wisconsin DOT. It's Ford Truck Month. Are you ready? And we're celebrating 47 years as the best-selling trucks in America with special once-a-year offers on Ford F-Series. Featuring the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Ford Super Duty, the 2024 North American Truck of the Year. Celebrate with us, America. This is Ford Truck Month. Based on 1977 to 2023 industry reported total sales. Listen up, Badger fans. Are you looking to save money while also saving the planet? Well, you can do just that with Everlight Solar, the largest residential solar company in Wisconsin. With our zero out-of-pocket program, any homeowner can win with solar energy by simply shifting what you already pay for power to pay for solar panels instead. Visit EverlightSolar.com today to schedule your no-cost consultation. With zero out-of-pocket along with generous tax incentives and rebates, it's a no-brainer for any homeowning Badger fan. Everlight Solar, a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield under the broadcasting rights granted by the University of Wisconsin. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of the university and Learfield. Announcers are provided by Learfield and approved by the university. At the half of this Big Ten Tournament Championship game, Illinois leads Wisconsin 41-40. Terrence Shannon Jr. hitting a three toward the closing seconds of the first half. Badgers missing their opportunity, but it's been tight throughout. Well, Brian, yesterday Purdue's biggest lead was six. Wisconsin's biggest lead was five for the first 20 minutes today. Both teams have led by as many as a whopping total of four points, but it's the way it's supposed to be, right? You get this deep into a, into a tournament. Well, it is, and, and you know, during that Purdue game, you, you thought, okay, where's a run coming from either team? You didn't really get it. There was answers. There wasn't a run. There was answers. Expect the same thing in this second half to be answers because well, that's all we've seen. There's been times where you felt that a team was going to go on a run, and whether it be Carter Gilmore for Wisconsin or, or somebody else for Illinois, stop that run and, and have some sort of an answer. So we're in store for a great second half. And by the way, this uh, little battle between Terrence Shannon Jr. and A.J. Storr, 
kind of fun to watch. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a, fun to watch. Yeah, a couple of rather uh, highly skilled dudes. AJ with the 16 points, Terrence Shannon Jr. with 15 in the first half of play. At the break, Illinois 41, Wisconsin 40. More of our halftime chat presented by American Family Insurance is coming up. This is Badger Basketball from Learfield. Known for their durability and performance, Anco wiper blades are the reliable choice for your vehicle's windshield. Anco effectively clears the rain, snow, and debris with ease. You want dependable visibility? Then choose the trusted choice, Anco, for smooth, streak-free wiping action. Easy to install and compatible with almost all models. That's Anco brand wiper blades. Now on sale at your neighborhood bumper-to-bumper -bumper auto parts store. And thank you for shopping locally. You're at the game with your girl, and you're going to pop the question. So you take a big swig of overpriced liquid courage. You pull the ring out of your pocket, get down on one knee, and then she says, Um, I need to go to the bathroom. And you realize the whole stadium is watching. Proposing on a Jumbotron? Big gamble. Ho-Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Dells? Better odds. Where you can't miss hot spot for big-time casino fun. Ho-Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Dells. Your odds are better here. It's Ford Truck Month. Are you ready? And we're celebrating 47 years as the best-selling trucks in America with special once-a-year offers on Ford F-Series. Featuring the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Ford Super Duty, the 2024 North American Truck of the Year. Celebrate with us, America. This is Ford Truck Month. Based on 1977 to 2023 industry reported total sales. Do you trust your insurance agent? Do you trust your insurance company? Well, you'd better. Because all they've really sold you is a promise. A promise to be there when things go bad. To step up and put everything back the way it was. So, if you don't trust your insurance company, maybe it's time to find one you do trust. West Bend. The worst brings out our best. Visit thesilverlining.com to find out more. Halftime of this Big Ten Tournament Championship game. Illinois leads Wisconsin 41-40. One of the things to watch in the second half are uh, the players with two fouls. And for Illinois, that's Ty Rogers, Justin Harmon, and Luke Goody. But Goody came out with a little uh, little, back, little back brace uh, coming out late in the uh, in the first half. Took a hard fall. You could tell he felt it. Tyler Wall, limited minutes, two fouls. Max Klesman with two. John Blackwell with two. Klesman and Blackwell have drawn the assignment on the mask. So we'll see how this first few minutes go in the second half. They could avoid that third. Absolutely. And I think that's the biggest thing that you talk about is, is they've weathered that. I thought Kamari came in, gave him good minutes. There was enough guys to be able to get it. The, the questionable part of that Greg did had was he put John Black in, uh, Blackwell in with uh, 4.51 left. Got 51 solid seconds out before there was a foul called. And that he allowed matters. It get, and yes. it, absolutely it did. Yeah. And we, we mentioned Carter Gilmore. He talked with Greg Gard, and when you and I suggested it too, it's an all-hands-on-deck game. And as Greg said today, you never know who you're going to need to call upon. And, and to Gilly's credit, I mean, there were games where he wasn't he was barely on the floor. He was trying to get Marcus you Silver DMPs, going. DMPs, exactly. You, oh, yeah. You want Gilly, a little more defensive reason there. And then today, he is, through the first half, in eight and nearly nine minutes of run, has seven points for Wisconsin. Illinois 41, Wisconsin 40. We'll check out some of the first half stats coming up next. This is Badger Basketball from Learfield. The big game. Family. Friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Oh, oh coming through! Yeah. Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. 
famous Wurstmachers Bob and Tony in the smokehouse. <laughs> Beef, summer sausage, and salami. And because they're from Usinger's, you know they're the best. Made with all lean beef and imported spices, cured and smoked the old world way. Because quality has been Usinger's number one ingredient for more than a century. Ah. <laughs> Made right here in Milwaukee since 1880. Usinger's, America's finest Worcester. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you bet. How do you master the game of basketball? With ingenuity. By creating new opportunities to turn post-ups into layups, spin moves into easy steals, press breaks into fast breaks. At UW Health, we use the same ingenuity to treat injuries. We build a team of the greatest minds in sports medicine, constantly innovating for the future of sports treatment. As the Badgers' official team doctors, we're dedicated to delivering advanced care every day so any athlete can stay on their A-game. UW Health. Remarkable. Illinois 41, Wisconsin 40 at the half. Let's check out some of the first half stats, and it is as close as the score. The Badgers 14 of 32 for the field, about 44%. Illinois 14 of 31 from the field, 45%. The Illini 4 of 11 from 3, Wisconsin 3 of 8. Illinois 9 of 12 at the foul line, Wisconsin 9 for 9. Illinois a plus 3 in the glass, but the Badgers with the big edge in second chance points, 14 to 6, points off turnovers, 6 5 Illinois. Wisconsin with 6 assists, 5 turnovers. The Illini 5 and 5 assists, 2 turnovers in the first half. AJ Store with 16 to lead all scores. Terrence Shannon Jr. next in line with 15. At the half, Illinois 41, Wisconsin 40. This is the halftime report brought to you by Culver's. The second half is next. This is Badger Basketball from Learfield. My simple solution to the problem was remove people from the scene and help them feel safer. In response to attacks against Asian Americans, Maddie Park raised over $250,000 to donate cab rides to the Asian community. There is so much more work to be done. We really need to come together and tackle this issue as a community. Support the Asian community. Learn how at lovehasnolabels.com. Brought to you by Love Has No Labels and the Ad Council. Put your phone on D&D, that means that do not disturb when you're driving. And when you're going from point A to B, I need you to stay safe, please, so always sing with me. So put your phone on D&D, that means that do not disturb when you're driving. And when you're going from point A to B, I need you to stay safe, please, so always remember this beat. Don't drive distracted. A message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, and the Ad Council. We get ready for the second half. Illinois 41, Wisconsin 40. I mentioned, I don't know if I have the terminology right. Toward the end of the first half, Luke, Gil, uh, Luke Goody for Illinois had a little wrap on his back. It wasn't really a brace, but he's out there now going through warm-ups without one. But that was a hard fall. He was holding his lower back. And, again, is he a star for this team? Not by definition, but he's a guy who can hit a lot of threes for you. So, And he had four of them yesterday. Well, four Nebraska. 12 points yesterday. Yes. A lot of those were in the second half. Yes. So we'll keep an eye on him and everybody else for you as we get ready for half number two. 20 minutes of basketball left in regulation. To the winner goes a trophy. It's 41-40, the Illini. I think if you're Wisconsin, the thing you watch out for is a run from Illinois. The reason I bring that up is because it's exactly what they did and have done the last couple of games here in this Big Ten tournament, especially against Nebraska. And Nebraska never had an answer. And then the Illinois just kept rolling. They have the biggest run both sides in the first half, five points. Illinois will have the first possession of the second half. Original five of Shannon, Damask, Rogers, along with Quincy Garrier and Coleman Hawkins, the Badgers of Crow, Wall, Store, Hepburn, and Max Klesmans. Illinois 41, Wisconsin 40. The line I will move to our right in the second half of play. One thing is for certain, I would guess that both teams are hoping they'll play Friday in the NCAA tournament. But no question. That's not always a guarantee, even if you're the last game going into selection with the selection show. 
I wish it was. Yeah. I do. Inbounds pass to Mask. Second half is underway. Cross half court against Klesman. Throwing to Garrier. Back to the Mask. High on the left. The lob to Garrier. And he is unable to handle it. It goes out of bounds to Wisconsin with the Badgers head hands up there. And that may have disrupted the sideline of Garrier. Turnover, Illinois. The 100% did. Good defense there by Wisconsin. Badgers moving to our left second half. Chucky Hepburn right side. Hits the brakes. Goes in to Crow. Low on the left against Rogers. Up right hand. And it will roll in for Stephen Crow. 42-41, Wisconsin, opening minute of the second half. Uh, two 50-50 balls there. Illinois with the lob. Wisconsin gets the way. Illinois you know, doesn't get in the way of Wisconsin. Wisconsin scores on two. The mask, right hand, hip high dribble. Moving to his right against Max Klesman. Gives it to Rodgers. Hands back to the mask. Off the Rodgers screen. In the lane. A bounce into Rodgers. Picked up on the switch by Klesman. Rodgers right block up right hand. Good. Max uh, got lucky. He didn't get the third, and then he laid off, and then you could just kind of tell that time was going to go score through him. 43-42, Illinois. Hepburn right of the lane and drives through the lane. In the paint, kick out to Crow for three. Right of the circle, splashed it. Steven Crow's first three of the day, 45-43, Wisconsin. Great pass by Chucky Hepburn. Minute 10 gone by in the second half. Ty Rogers hands off to Damask. That's Klesman. The good court logo. Klesman, hard left hand dribble, left lane line, flipped it up to the left hand and scored it. And Damask with 11, tied at 45. Minute and a half gone, second half. Hepburn outside left, goes into Crowell against Coleman Hawkins. Single coverage. Crowell backing, backing in the lane, left shoulder turn, one pump up right hand. Good. It's amazing what a little shot fake can do. 47-45, Wisconsin, a minute 40 into the second half. The mask up top. He'll throw it to Terrence Shannon. Knocked away by Hepburn. Ball is loose. Chucky gathers it. Another steal for Chucky Hepburn. He just darted in there to take it away from Terrence Shannon. Lesman throwing to Crowell. Feeds Chucky on the right wing. Hepburn against Quincy Garrier. Loops it inside. Wall catches. He's with Shannon. Tyler. Right block. Flipped it up. And in off the window. First points for Wall. 49-45 Wisconsin. Great start here by Wisconsin. Andrew fans into it. 2.15 going by second half. Marcus Damask against Klesman outside left. Damask starting to back. Here's that booty ball for Illinois. Damask backing on Klesman. Little dig from Wall. Another dig. Damask pivots, fades, flips, hits. Marcus Damask with 13. 49-47 Wisconsin. 17-20 remaining. Hepburn outside left. Goes behind the back on the dribble. Leaves it for Crowd. Chucky directing the traffic. Crowd with a basketball. Gives off the wall. Sends to Klesman. Right side. Drives baseline on Damask. Pushed it up and in. Off the window. Good take from Klesman. He has 7. 51-47 Wisconsin. Three minutes gone by. Second half. Damask to the left sideline in front of the Illinois bench against Klesman. Now a double from Wall. Kick out Coleman Hawkins. Turns to Garrier. Good close by Storr. Now Hawkins left of the circle. To the top. Steps back. Can't get loose. Feeds Damask. 10 to shoot. Hawkins setting the screen. And now he pulls back. Damask backing on Klesman. Backing left of the lane. Still backing. Fades. Flips. Baseline left. Hits again. Kid can play. 51-49. Wisconsin. 16-30 remaining. There's plays being made on both sides right now. It's awesome. Hepburn backing on Ty Rogers. Left of the lane. Backing is Chucky. Low on the left. Takes it right. Reverse layup is good. Shot making and play making. 53-49. Wisconsin. 16-10 remaining. Damas driving left of the lane. Pull up 10 footer. Off the rim. Rebound score. Here comes AJ. Up the middle. Store a pull up three. Up top. Off the rim. No. Hepburn the rebound. Offensive board. Second chance Wisconsin. Hepburn backing on Rodgers. To the lane. Chucky still backing. Out the crowd. Refeeds Hepburn left wing. Shakes right. Moves left. He'll fade. He'll flip. Baseline left. Got it. And one. Ty Rogers the foul. Hepburn the bucket. Free throw coming up. Booty ball, I see your booty ball, and I'll raise you your booty ball. Yes, sir. We will take a break. And tell you, no one gets you closer to the game than Sirius XM Big Ten Radio. 
Tune in for news, talk, and analysis of the offseason through the regular season and into the postseason. We've got your team covered anywhere you go. Get a free trial at SiriusXM.us slash Big Ten Radio 2023. 1547 remaining, Wisconsin 55, Illinois 49. This is Badger Basketball from Learfield. Monday, you're already late for work. You scramble, putting on pants while brushing your teeth in the dark. And you're starving. Starving. But the only thing in the fridge, Friday night's leftovers. Oof. A three-day-old curry beef burrito for breakfast. Big gamble. Ho-Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Dells. Better odds. Where you can't miss hot spot for big-time casino fun. Ho-Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Dells. Your odds are better here. Hey friends, Mott's Matt here for Brew Pub Lots and Mott's Pizza. Does it seem like you're camping in the forest of complaints when it comes to your kids and dinner time? Phrases like, what even is that? And, we're having that again? Or, seriously, are getting tossed around like a frisbee at the beach. I know you want to break free from the barrage of bemoaning, so toss in a Brew Pub Lots and Mott's Pizza for dinner tonight. That thin crust, delicious sauce, and mountain of mozzarella will have the kids singing your praises at dinner time. Snag a Brew Pub Lots and Mott's Pizza today from the freezer section in your local grocery store. Hey Badgers, spring is right around the corner and so is the annual Crazy Legs Classic. Sign up today for the 8K run or two-mile walk on April 27th and celebrate 175 years of UW-Madison. For more information and to register, visit crazylegsclassic.com. That's crazylegsclassic.com. The annual Crazy Legs Classic, a Madison tradition unlike any other. Make sure you participate on April 27th. Life's better with an auto policy from American Family Insurance. No matter what dreams you're driving towards. That's because our expert agents will make you feel totally protected with the right auto coverage at the right price. You'll also save up to 23% when you bundle auto with home. American Family Insurance. Get a quote, find an agent at AmFam.com. Products not available in every state. Visit AmFam.com to learn how discounts may apply to you. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, S.I. and its operating company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. Hustle is what it takes to dominate, and it's exactly what built Ford tough trucks were made to do. Check out the F-150 or the Super Duty at your Wisconsin Ford dealer today. Ty Rogers just picked up his third foul. Chucky Hepburn, a baseline left fadeaway. Jay in a free throw coming up, 15-47 remaining. Wisconsin 55, Illinois 49. The biggest lead of the game for either team. So airtight this game is, just like yesterday. Well, and that's, again, that's what it's become now. Both teams have made plays offensively. It's going to be able to string together a couple of stops. And that's what we saw at the Kohl Center as well. Mm -hmm. Free throw for Hepper in the air. It's good. 56-49 Wisconsin. 15-47 remaining. Holman Hawkins brings it up the floor for the Illini. Upper is heating up the mask. And took the ball out of his hands. Hawkins, he can put it on the floor too. He'll drive to the rim. Uncontested layup. That's as easy as it gets for Coleman Hawkins. 56-51 Wisconsin. Four and a half minutes gone by second half. Score against Shannon. Top of the circle. Hepburn will come and get it. Justin Harmon is in the lineup now for Illinois. As Hepburn works off a crowd screen. A throw to Stevie. Open three straight on. Back iron no good. Long rebound. Klesman. Back to the lane. Bounces ball. Lower the left. Layup is good. Wall from Klesman. 58-51 Wisconsin. 15-05 remaining. Marcus Damask out front against Max Klesman. Mask out between the circles. A Gary A screen. Picked up by Crown the switch. A throw to Hawkins. Whips to Shannon. Flips a three right side. Off the rim. No good. Rebound. Knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Gary A of Illinois. John Blackwell will check in. Max Klesman is limping off the floor. He did not look comfortable coming back down the other end. And he is going to be out at least for the time being. 14.44 to play. 58-51 Wisconsin. Hepburn around the crowd screen. Chucky driving low on the right. Pushed it up and in and one. Chucky Hepburn is going to work. That is so good to see, Matt. What he does, I mean, he changes. Think about think about all year long what Chuck has done. He said, hey, there's opportunities for him to attack. There's opportunities for him to attack. What has he done the last two games? 
He's finally taking that step in attack. And now defensively, how do you make the adjustment? Holman Hawkins, the foul. Hepburn with the free throw, and it's 61-51, Wisconsin. 14.35 to play. Blackwell in, and he was harassing Damas to the front court, throwing to Coleman Hawkins. Moves off to Gibbs Hawthorne, right of the lane. Now it's Coleman Hawkins at the top. Back to Dre Gibbs Hawthorne. Matched up with A.J. Store. And near steel, Hepburn Shannon is open. Drives off the wing in the lane. Throws one up. No, but he knew he was going to get hit, and he did. A.J. Store the foul, his first. And that's where Chucky just got a little too aggressive. And because he got aggressive, he got out of position, which then led the opportunity for Shannon Jr. to drive and attack there. And that's kind of what you got to do sometimes. You, you've got to, like, with, with Chucky, you know he's going to go a couple times to try to get one. And you can live with it because he gets him about 50-50 on it. First free throw, Terrence Shannon is good. Chucky Hepburn, by the way, with 14 points. One more gets him in the 1,000-point club. Dane Danger checks in. Gives Hawthorne six down. 61-52, Wisconsin with 14-16 remaining. Second free throw, Terrence Shannon is straight through. Illinois yesterday came back from 15 down. That was early in the second half. So no panic from the Illini. They're going to make any assumption. Assume there will be no panic. Here's Storm. Right wing feeds Crowell. Rotates to Tyler Wall at the top. Gives off to Hepburn. It's a bump from Wall. And a left corner. Three is off the rim. No good. Rebound loose. Hepburn to Blackwell. Oh, what hustle. 50-50 ball, Wisconsin. Here's AJ in the lane. The floater is short. No good. Rebound fought for. It's loose. Wall can't get it. Shannon does. Here's Shannon throwing to Gary. A left side snaps off a three and it's good. In transition, Gary a triple. Just like that, Illinois within five. 61-56, Wisconsin, 13-35 remaining. Wall throwing the crowd right of the circle. Gives off the score. Left-hand toss, Wall reverses left wing to John Blackwell. Probing, and now brings it back out for Wall. Tyler on the attack is Gary a whistle. Offensive foul, Tyler Wall. Gary a Got position. Wall pushed off. That's three on Tyler. And now Carter Gilmore will come in. He was going to come in anyway. And then Wall, unfortunately for Tyler, picked up that third foul. Oh, that last possession was so, so big. Could have had two. Instead, it goes the other way, and it's three. 61-56, Wisconsin. 13-15 remaining. Damask against Blackwell to the front court. Damask left of the lane. Cut off. Mid post left ball. Knocked away by Stork. Garrier is there. Now Shannon has it near half court. Shannon knocked through Hepburn. Trying to dig. Is Shannon tough? Shot in traffic. Good off the glass. A terrific play from Terrence Shannon Jr. Illinois within three. Seven-point run for the Illini. Hepburn on the right side. Chucky going to Crowell right of the circle. Against Dane Danger. Back to Chucky. Baseline right. Driving reverse. Layup high off the glass and in. You keep cooking, Chucky. Keep Boy. cooking, Chucky. 63-58, Wisconsin. 12.35 remaining. Marcus Damask against John Blackwell. Damask pounding the dribble. Now kills the dribble. He'll throw to Dane Danger against Crowell. Moving in. Left block. One pump goes up and in and one. Now went for the ball with a shot fake, and and one for Dane Danger. The foul on Stephen Crow is his second. As Nolan Winter, who is about to check in anyway, will do so now. It's all you can do is ask guys to make plays, and there's a lot of plays being made on both sides of the ball right oh, now no by kid. both teams. Luke Goody comes in for Illinois. Gary A out. Dane Danger, a 49% free throw shooter. He was a big factor on Friday night for Illinois. He had 18 points against Ohio State. A guy whose role has changed last year to this, and he connects on the free throw, and Illinois is within two. Now Steve's got to stay down on the shot. Babe. Yes. 63-61, Wisconsin, 12-20 remaining. Carter Gilmore out front gives to A.J. Store on the attack. In the lane, pivots, shooting, missing, but a foul. Store will go to the free throw line. Danger the foul. That'll be his second. 12-14 remaining in this championship game. 63-61, Wisconsin. A.J. with 16 points all in the first half. In the meantime, Max Klesman on the exercise bike. Just like you this morning. Oh, absolutely. 
or something like that. Where were you? First free throw is good for danger. Joe was I there. I got mine in earlier. Yeah. Coach Crowell, you were there? I okay. earlier. Early. Sure. Well, morning, Bert. Gotcha. <laughs> I had it all ready for you. It was nice and warm for you, wasn't it? Uh, uh, oh, yeah, it was great. Yeah, I thought yeah. so. Second free throw for Storr off the rim. No good. Hawkins the rebound. 64-61, Wisconsin. 12-10 remaining. Marcus Damask to the front court against John Blackwell. Damask had knocked away Hepburn. Ball is loose. Scooped up by Nolan Winter. Now Blackwell lead feed. Hepburn could not quite get the handle as A.J. Storr was ready to create a highlight. Hepburn has to bring it back out. High on the left against Coleman Hawkins. Chucky feeds Nolan Winter. Rotates to Gilmore. Water Gilmore on the right wing. A hand off to Blackwell. And a freshman against Luke Goody. High. A clerk of the baseline goes up. Knocked away. Blackwell to the floor. And here comes the mass. Feeds Coleman Hawkins down the lane. Slam dunk Coleman Hawkins. 64-63 Wisconsin. 11-28 to play. Hepburn long pass store. On the left wing, Hawkins trying to cut him off. Store works baseline reverse layup. No, but a foul. It's on danger. And Store will shoot two more at the free throw line. And a chance for everybody to take a breath at the end of 12 media timeout. The Wisconsin Department of Transportation reminds, Air, reminds you to always drive sober. Zero in Wisconsin. Together we can save lives. Learn more at zero in Wisconsin. Gov. And our coverage of Wisconsin basketball in the postseason is brought to you by Everlight Solar. Save money, save the planet. 11-22 remaining, Wisconsin 64, Illinois 63. This is Badger basketball from Learfield. The big game. Family. Friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. Life's better with a home policy from American Family Insurance because you'll feel protected no matter how the wind blows. Also, you can keep enjoying the home of your dreams. And our expert agents can help you save up to 23% when you bundle home with auto. Insure carefully. Dream fearlessly. American Family Insurance. Get a quote? Find an agent at AmFam.com. Products not available in every state. Visit AmFam.com to learn how discounts may apply to you. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, S.I. and its operating company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. It's Ford Truck Month. Are you ready? And we're celebrating 47 years as the best-selling trucks in America with special once-a-year offers on Ford F-Series. Featuring the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Ford Super Duty, the 2024 North American Truck of the Year. Celebrate with us, America. This is Ford Truck Month. Based on 1977 to 2023 industry reported total sales. Hey friends, Mott's Matt here for Brew Pub Lots and Mott's Pizza. Does it seem like you're camping in the forest of complaints when it comes to your kids and dinner time? Phrases like, what even is that? And, we're having that again? Or, seriously, are getting tossed around like a frisbee at the beach. I know you want to break free from the barrage of bemoaning, so toss in a Brew Pub Lots and Mott's Pizza for dinner tonight. That thin crust, delicious sauce, and mountain of mozzarella will have the kids singing your praises at dinner time. Snag a Brew Pub Lots and Mott's Pizza today from the freezer section in your local grocery store. Sitco top tier tri clean gasoline helps your engine run smoother and cleaner along the way. When you start with Sitco, you're good to go before we continue. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. 10 for an ID. This is Badger Basketball from Learfield. Chucky Hepburn bucket a couple of minutes ago gets him in the 1,000 point club in Wisconsin. He has 16 here today. 11 minutes and 22 seconds remaining. Wisconsin 64, Illinois 63 with A.J. Storr stepping to the free throw line. 17 points for Storr. He is 5 of 6 at the line when he missed a couple minutes ago. It was the first of the day. The Badgers 12 of 13 at the strike. His free throw Storr is good. Start another streak. 
Badgers 13 out of 14, Illinois 12 out of 15 at the strike. 65-63 Wisconsin, second free throw store on the way, and he left that short. Coleman Hawkins pulls it down for Illinois. Now Marcus Damask. Has 15 points today. Max Klesman back in there for Wisconsin. Damask, going to work on him. Left of the lane. They have him isolated. Now a dig from Wall. Kick out Hawkins. Long three straight away. Back rim no good. Long rebound. Damask up top. Inside Danger. Low on the left. And he'll send it in. Two-hand jam for Dane. Danger tied at 65. 10.55 remaining. Hepburn throwing a wall. Turns to Klesman high on the left. Max against Luke Goody. He's off to Crowell. Now right of the circle. Tossed it back out to Wall. Turns the left wing for Stewart. Driving on Hawkins. Baseline left. One pump. Reverse layup at the bottom of the rim. And the rebound comes down to Illinois. Goody ahead to Terrence Shannon. Shannon drops it back to Goody. Outside right. Sends it back out to Shannon. And a nice fake to get by Klesman. Swoops to the rim. Layup is good for Terrence Shannon, Jr. Illinois leads 67-65. 10-20 remaining. Klesman against Hawkins. Right of the lane. Throws to Crowell. Feeds Hepburn. Chuck gives the dribble. Loops it inside for Wall. He got fouled by Goody along the left lane line. Very important for Wisconsin to get a good possession there. They did. If for whatever reason a bad shot would have been taken there and Illinois comes down and scores, I thought Greg was going to maybe have to take a timeout there. Because they execute, you stop the momentum a little bit. Blackwell in, score out. Hepburn inbounding. Walsh on the floor. Goody helping him up as play continues. Here's Hepburn around a crowd. Screen to the free throw. line, knocked away, but Shannon guilty of the foul. And he knew it. There's the foul on Terrence Shannon Jr. is his second. 67-65 Illinois with 10-04 to play. That's team foul number six on the Illini. The Badgers are guilty of three. Now Ty Rogers with the three fouls ready to check back in. He'll come in for Danger. Danger has helped his team. He would actually check that. He's going to come in for Terrence Shannon. He has 21 points. A burn in the crowd. Baseline right. Crowell starts the back. Danger trying to hold his ground. Crowell still right of the lane. Brings it back out front. Leaves it for Klesman. Max off the Crowell screen. Right of the lane. Throws it back out to Stevie. Up top, five to shoot. Blackwell, baseline left. Drive into the cup. Kick out Max for three. Right side. It's short, no good. Rebound, Danger of Illinois. 9.40 to play. 67-65, the Illini. The mask between the circles. Off the Goody screen. Slips it to Goody for three. Right of the circle. It's off the rim. No good. Rebound. Rogers tipped it. Kept it alive. Gathers. Works it back out to Damask. He'll try a three. And it's good. From left of the circle. And a five-point lead for Illinois. Greg Gard's going to use a yeah. timeout here. As Illinois at one point down ten. They erased it quickly. And the Illini now up five. This will be a full timeout. Nine minutes, 17 seconds remaining. Illinois 70, Wisconsin 65. This is Badger basketball from Learfield. At Shields, we know the basketball season is a full-court press from tip-off to final buzzer. Each game presents an opportunity to see your Badgers take the court and compete for the win. So be there for every second to show your support head-to-toe in Wisconsin red and white. Shields has partnered with the Wisconsin Badgers to provide your favorite fan gear. So visit Shields in-store or online to start every game with a slam dunk. Shields, proud partner of Wisconsin athletics and basketball fans everywhere. Geeks, the ticketing app for fans like the sideline shot caller. Come on, boys, pick up the pace. SeatGeek got him a great deal on seats right near the action, so when he yells, What are you doing? Fuck him! He can be absolutely sure the players heard him. SeatGeek handles the tickets to sports, concerts, and more, so fans can fan. Lots of insurance companies make promises about how much you can save if you switch over to them. Well, here's our promise. With the West Bend policy, you can save everything. Every memory. Every detail. Everything you've worked so hard for. Once it comes time to actually make a claim, a cheap insurance policy can really cost you. Why not protect everything that matters with a policy from West Bend? Because the worst... 
brings out our best. Visit thesilverlining.com to find out more. Wisconsin, our coverage of Wisconsin basketball in the postseason is brought to you by Everlight Solar. Save money, save the planet. At one point in the second half, the Badgers led 61-51. Since then, it's been a 19-4 run for the Illini. 9-17 to play, Illinois 70, Wisconsin 65. Great guard using his timeout. He has two available. This is an Illinois team that is the fourth most efficient in the nation, their offensive efficiency numbers. So I mentioned they weren't going to panic down 10 with all day remaining. And they've just got guys who can, no matter what you're, if you think you're doing everything right, Terrence Shannon Jr. can make plays, and Marcus Damas, the same thing. Now for Wisconsin, you got Storr and Chucky Hepburn who are fitting that description with some of the shot making from those guys. Well, there, there's, there's more left in this team, but right now, it, it's the little plays. Ty, Ty Rogers you know, creates an extra opportunity for that kick out three. Wisconsin was so good on the glass there, Matt. It's the little things right now. Now, offensively, Wisconsin hasn't scored in two minutes. A lot of it was Chucky kind of driving, attacking when that offense was clicking. Look to put Chucky in a high pick and roll, let him play, and then see... From there, what is, what is open with it? But Chuck, the way that Chucky's been playing this second half, let him be your playmaker. A.J. Storr, sideline right, front court will inbound. Gets it into Wall. Takes the handle off to Storr, right foul line extended. Gets it to Hepburn. Chucky up top against Luke Goody. Hepburn with a bounce for Wall. Quick turn on Rodgers. He got fouled by Rodgers. That's his fourth. And that should be team foul number seven, I believe. Yes, it is. Yeah, it a is. one and yeah, one absolutely. for Wall. Wisconsin with only three fouls so far. Now the wall step to the foul line for the first time. Terrence Shannon, whose rest was a rather brief one, he is in for Rodgers. Wall with four points here today, a one and one for Tyler. 9.07 remaining, five point lead, Illinois. Front end for Wall on the way, it's good. 71 66, the Illini. Free throw coming up for Wall, the 6'9 grad student from Lakeville, Minnesota. Free throw airborne, and that's too long, no good. Rebound Marcus Damask. 9.05 to play, 70 to 66 of Illinois. Damask gets a goodie screen. Husband now will make the switch as Storr picks up the mask. Damask trying to back. Trying to back while he's throwing. Yeah, it's going to be on AJ. Yeah, yeah, 100. Is, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they'll get score for his second foul, team's fourth. AJ, no, no, AJ's not put in a lot of those situations. AJ, two hands yeah. once, tough two to, hands yeah, twice. Tough to defend that booty ball for some, right? For, for many, some, yes. For many, especially. Yes. In general, for many, for some especially so. Inbounds pass to Danger, gets it to Damask. At the top of the circle, again against Storm. The mask high on the left with the shot clock at 10. Stir with a quick reach in. Now, the mask with the turn. Left of the lane. Pushed it up and missed, but a foul on Storr. And, yeah, they're just... and I don't know why Wisconsin is switching that action, Matt. I don't. Max Klesman has been on him the majority of the game. The last two possessions, the mask has been able to get A.J. on him. And he's taking advantage of him. And Damask at the foul line, where he's 3 of 4 today. He has 18.6 rebounds, 7 assists. First free throw is good. 71-66 Illinois, 8.38 remaining. And I don't, I don't know what action, but the last two times, one time was in transition. Mm -hmm. That last time, I don't know why there was a switch by Wisconsin. Second free throw coming up for Marcus Damask, looking for his 20th point. He had 31 in the game at the Cole Center on March 2nd. Second free throw is good. And a six-point lead for Illinois. It's longest of the day. Luke Goody will come out. Quincy Garrier back in. 72-66 Illinois. 838 remaining. Hepburn, Wall, Storr, Klesman, and Crowell. The five of the four for Wisconsin. Wall hands off the store. AJ. Left lane line to the rim. Layup is good. First field goal of the second after Storr. 72-68 Illinois. But he does do that well. Eight minutes and 20 seconds to play in this Big Ten Tournament Championship game. Damask against Klesman. Here's the booty ball again. Damask left of the lane, backing a dig from Wall. 
The last retreats, now moving in again, baseline left. A dig from Wall again, whip out pass Shannon for three, right corner, off the rim, no good. Rebound, score, goes off his leg, but Klesman is there. And the Badgers get the stop, Max will jog it up the right sideline. Well, Max ended up on yes. uh, Damas there, and all of a sudden, look at, the, look at what happened, much different. Chucky Hepburn bobbing off a crowd screen, Hepburn left of the lane, step back, mid-range, good. Hepburn with 18, Badgers within two with 7.43 remaining. 72-70, to 70, the Illini. The mask sets the floor for Illinois on the dribble to the front court against Klesman. Seven and a half minutes to play. The mask picks up the dribble. The bounce for Shannon. He's with Hepburn. Shannon holds it off the left hip. Now the left hand dribble switches to his right. Crosses over. Left lane line. Push it up. Wild shot. No! But a foul is called. Jeffrey Anderson on the call. They say verticality was lost. All right, they're going to get Crowell, and boy, I got to tell you. I don't like it. It's late. Uh, like that, that's why I don't like it. If it's a foul, uh, call right away. Yeah, all right. We'll go to commercial break. 721 remaining. Illinois 72, Wisconsin 70. This is Badger basketball from Learfield. Life's better with an auto policy from American Family Insurance. No matter what dreams you're driving towards. That's because our expert agents will make you feel totally protected with the right auto coverage at the right price. You'll also save up to 23% when you bundle auto with home. American Family Insurance. Get a quote, find an agent at AmFam.com. Products not available in every state. Visit AmFam.com to learn how discounts may apply to you. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, S.I. and its operating company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. It's Ford Truck Month. Are you ready? And we're celebrating 47 years as the best-selling trucks in America with special once-a-year offers on Ford F-Series. Featuring the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Ford Super Duty, the 2024 North American Truck of the Year. Celebrate with us, America. This is Ford Truck Month. Based on 1977 to 2023 industry reported total sales. Famous Wurstmachers Bob and Tony in the Smokehouse. <sighs> Beef, summer sausage, and salami. And because they're from Usinger's, you know they're the best. Made with all lean beef and imported spices, cured and smoked the old world way. Because quality has been Usinger's number one ingredient for more than a century. Ah. <laughs> Made right here in Milwaukee since 1880. Usinger's, America's finesta Worcester. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you bet. Life's better with a home policy from American Family Insurance because you'll feel protected no matter how the wind blows. Also, you can keep enjoying the home of your dreams. And our expert agents can help you save up to 23% when you bundle home with auto. Insure carefully. Dream fearlessly. American Family Insurance. Get a quote? Find an agent at AmFam.com. Products not available in every state. Visit AmFam.com to learn how discounts may apply to you. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, S.I. and its operating company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. Wisconsin basketball postseason coverage is brought to you by Everlight Solar. Save money, save the planet. Seven minutes, 21 seconds remaining. Illinois 72, Wisconsin 70. A foul call, Terrence Shannon on a drive. Uh, Stephen Crowell called for the foul. We were looking at the replays during the break. There, there was contact from Stevie. Jeffrey Anderson, who made the call, was claiming that Crowell lost verticality. That wasn't really necessarily it wasn't the, the issue. wasn't verticality. And, no. and, and yes, there was contact. Now, there's been contact a lot of the game as well. I get where the foul is. I mean, there was contact. Yep. No question there was contact. Yep. Terrence Shannon, Jr. at the line where he's 7 of 8. 21 points for him today. He shoots 2. First free throw. In and out and back in. He was 8 of 9 for the foul line in that first game against Wisconsin and moved to a 23-point day. Second free throw is good. 74 to 70, Illinois. 7 minutes, 21 seconds remaining. Lesbeth, jog it, right side front court. Goes to Crowell, turns to Storr, left wing against Coleman Hawkins. Storr out to Chucky, covered up by Shannon. Burn left wing. 
Dribbles to the free throw line. Out the crowd. He's with danger. Ten to shoot. Klesman to the free throw line. Out the crowd for three. Straight on. Front rim no. Wow, no good Goody. He tied up Tyler Wall. Luke Goody is called for the foul. So another one and one coming up for Wisconsin. And for Goody, that'll be his fourth. 6.56 to play. Badgers down four. Had a good look there for Stevie, just short of that three-point try. That's where you wonder, do the legs start getting heavy a little bit? It's front rim, right? Yep. It just... yep. One and one for Wall, who's one of two at the foul line. He has five points so far today. And the front end is on the way, and it's straight through. 74-71, the Illini. Six minutes, 56 seconds to play in this championship game. His three rhythm dribbles and the second free throw is good. 74 72 Illinois. 6.55 clock running left in Minneapolis. Marcus Damask, he has 20 points today, 7 to 9 for the floor. To the front court, gets a screen from Goody. Damask driving left of the lane, stops, throws it up over Crowell. No good. Rebound, loose. Damask is there. Feeds Shannon right side. Second chance, Illinois. Shannon between the circles against Tyler Wall. Shannon sizes him up. Trying to cross over, bobble the dribble, gets it back, eight to shoot. Shannon against Wall. Takes the three, throws up a three, missed it. He got Wall to bite on it. And Terrence Shannon, when you're that good, you get jumpy defensively. That's four on Wall. Three yeah, they've got to look at up. this because they're, they're saying three. It might have been a two. It's exactly what they're looking at right now. Yep. Now, if you're Tyler, you know, it, it, you knew he was going with a step back three. So he had done all the... He, all the ball handling, didn't get anywhere, pulled it out. You knew the shot clock was coming down. you got to be able to pull that out, no, and then stay down. The three shots for Terrence Shannon, Jr., who is 9 of 10 at the foul line. First free throw is good. 80% free throw shooter coming into the game. He's been better than that so far today, 75-72 Illinois. Carter Gilmore ready to check in for Wisconsin. Second free throw. That's good. Right. Gilmore in for Wall. Four-point lead, Illinois. Goody out. Gary A in. Third and final free throw for Terrence Shannon, Jr. And he made them all. 77-72, Illinois. 6.28 remaining. Chucky Hepburn for Wisconsin. Left sideline, front court. Now on the attack, baseline left. One pump, tough pass. Got out the crowd. Beats Klesman for three. Left of the circle, money. Max Klesman, second hit from distance. 77-75, Illinois. 6-10 to play. The mask through the center circle. High screen, Garrier, boy, knocked down Klesman. Now Garrier open for three, off the rim, no. Rebound, tap back, tapped out. Hawkins had it, knocked away by Klesman. Shannon has it, darts it inside. Garrier, layup, no. Crowd tips it ahead to Storr. Here's A.J. Shannon's back. Storr to the rim, shot blocked by Hawkins inside. It's loose. Gilmore to the floor. Gets possession, they get a held ball. Arrow, Wisconsin. Oh, great hustle by Carter Gilmore off a fierce block inside. And the block was by Coleman Hawkins, but there was four, four Ill <laughs> players there. And Carter Gilmore comes out of nowhere to get the jump balls. Like, that plays a huge play in this game. 5.43 to play inbounds pass. Foul. The story got fouled by Hawkins. That'll be team foul number nine. And Storr goes to the free throw line. The foul on Hawkins, his second. Don't overlook that play with 5.42 left in this game. A missed layup by Illinois. They come down. A.J. goes up for the shot. Gets blocked. It sits on the ground. There's four Illinois players around it. And somehow Carter Gilmore is able to go and get the ball and get an extra possession. And it results in free throws for Wisconsin. And there was some confusion if this is a two-shot foul or a one-and-one. 
And as A.J. Storrs steps to the line, he has 20 points in the game, 6 of 8 at the line. It's a 1-1, one and one, but it now is a two-shot foul as he hits the front end. The next one will be a double bonus. Meanwhile, Wisconsin is still with, well, actually, Badgers now with the seven fouls. 77-76, Illinois. 542 remaining. A.J. with the second free throw coming up on the way. And it's off the rim and in. We're tied at 77. Five minutes and 40 seconds to play as the Badgers fans back on their feet. Damask left side front court. Klesman digs in. Damask looking over the floor. Up a dangerous screen. Blocked out Klesman. Max recovering as Damask inside pushed it up and in with the right hand. And they're letting them play. It's starting to get physical and they're letting them play. 79-77 the Illini. 5-15 remaining. Gilmore out high. Hands at the store. Hawkins defending a screen from Gilmore. Store backing on Luke Goody. Store in the lane. Goes up right hand. Good. Tied yet again. This time at 79. Five minutes remaining for the title. Marcus Damask outside left. Goody the screen. Damask on the left wing. Backing down on Klesman. Backing mid post left to dig from store. Goody's open. Shot fake. Side step left. Three in the air. Around and out. No good. Hepburn runs down the rebound. 443 remaining. Tied at 79. Chucky left sideline off the Gilmore screen. Curls baseline left. Drives the baseline through the lane. Back into the paint. One pump. Pivots. Runs it back out to Klesman. 15 to shoot. Klesman off the crowd bump. Max circles back. Takes the three. Covered up by Danger. Throw to crowd. Backing on to Mass. Turns up right hand. Front rim no good. Rebound. Hawkins 420 to play. Lead feed. Danger catching low on the left. Layup good. Danger busting down the floor is rewarded. And a timeout taken with 4.16 remaining. Illinois back on top. This will be a full timeout. Four minutes, 16 seconds to play. Illinois 81, Wisconsin 79. This is Badger basketball from Learfield. Update your home with new flooring from Menards. Check out our great selection of Shaw flooring. Add comfort with soft and luxurious carpet. Transform the look of any living space with durable laminate flooring. Update your space effortlessly with Shaw's stylish Citadel vinyl plank flooring. It's durable, waterproof, and easy to install. On sale now through March 24th. Check out our entire selection of flooring today and see the rest of our deals on Menards.com. Save big money at Menards. in education. We believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. WEABenefits.com what happens when you call your insurance company? If you have water in your basement, press 1. Most big companies have a recorded message or an app. If you are in your living room and see sky when you look up, press 2. But when something bad happens, you just want to talk to a person. On a day like that, that phone line can end up feeling like a lifeline. At a time like that, you want a company like West Bend. Because the worst brings out our best. If there is a tree in your bedroom... Press 3. Visit thesilverlining.com to find out more. Our coverage of Wisconsin basketball in the postseason is brought to you by Everlight Solar. Save money, save the planet. Illinois using a timeout. Dane Danger running the floor. Got rewarded. Four minutes, 16 seconds remaining. The Illini 81. The Wisconsin Badgers 79. There's been a lot of guys that step up for both teams, whether it's Carter Gilmore, Dane Danger, you know, guys that haven't necessarily had a huge impact throughout the year. At times they have, but not consistent. Don't know when their number's been called, and they've answered for this team. And that's what makes this thing beautiful. That's what makes this game so great is guys have stepped up when their number's been called. 
Uh, that has been the case. We mentioned it with Danger in the game against Ohio State on Friday with the 18 points, 9 today. Carter Gilmore with 7 points, 3 rebounds, and a great dig to keep a possession alive and leading the points eventually for Wisconsin. I mean, a lot of shot making, but a lot of, again, we're probably wearing out the term gritty, but there are a lot of gritty plays being oh, made, too. Oh, both ways. Yeah, yeah I mean, that, but, yes. but that's what March is. Yep. Now, I'm a firm believer that March is all about the toughest, grittiest team. There's a reason UConn won the thing last year. There's a reason I went in playing close games. But they're a gritty team. Yes. But both of these teams, for them to go far in March, for them to win a championship, it's going to come down to who makes those plays, like the Carter Gilmore play. Who continues to make the most of those for the next four minutes and 16 seconds? Whoever does that is going to have a championship. Talk about the big dance being the big show. If this is an undercard, it's quite the undercard, isn't it? Absolutely. Crow, Store, Pleasant, Wall, and Hepburn. Wall out there with four fouls. It's Wisconsin ball is Wall inbounds to Chucky Hepburn. Logs it right side. Shannon waits for him. They throw to Crow on the right wing. Looks at the wall high on the right. You'll see Klesman. Max right corner. Can't get free. Now Crow hands off to Max again. Klesman feeds Crow. Up top. Shot clock is at 12. Crow will give off the wall. Shot clock at 10. Wall against Ty Rogers. Now to Max for three in the lead. He hit it from right of the circle. Max Klesman with a triple. 82-81 Wisconsin. And Illinois went under the screen, and I don't know why, but I'm not questioning it. 340 remaining. Damask left side against Klesman. Here's the booty ball game again. Backing Damask. Left block pushing up. Knocked away. Wall, but they'll get him for a foul. And that's it. Tyler Wall will foul out. With three minutes and 32 seconds remaining. He just played the replay there, and boy, uh, that's... It, it, it's, it's a tough call. It's a tough call. But this isn't a timeout like Illinois is trying to steal here. The reason it's a tough call, and you got to fight through it, but Tyler comes through and swings through on that. Don't swing through. Don't give him a reason. Yep. Don't give him a reason. Marcus Damask, an 88% free throw shooter, 5 of 6 today, will go to the free throw line. First free throw is good, tied at 82. You know, the Badgers yesterday, with you know, all the talk about the whistle, and he said the key was don't cry, move on to the next yeah. play, keep going. Well, and for there, it is. I think if he goes straight up, probably doesn't call that action and that motion that results to it. Second free throw good for Damask. Illinois has the lead back, 83-82, with three and a half minutes remaining. Hepburn throwing to Carter Gilmore. Gilly on the dribble left side, gives off the store on the attack right lane line, stops, pops, off the rim and out, no good. Ty Rogers the rebound for Illinois. Now Damask up the left sideline to the front court. 3.15 to play. One point lead Illinois. Damask against Klesman. Again starting to back down. Kick out the Hawkins. He feeds Damask to left of the lane. Klesman trying to hang tough. He traveled. He walked with the ball. Yep, trying to back down again was Damask. Guilty of the extra step. Turnover Illinois with 3.04 to play. Nine turnovers for Illinois. Here's Hepburn up the floor. He was wanted, wanted to get it started. Klesman a little late to the party, and now Hepburn will set the table with under three minutes to play. Chucky, line of the lane, attacking, throws it up off the glass. No good. Rebound comes down to Dane Danger. Back to back, back, to back, back to back empty possessions for Wisconsin. 2.45 to play, 83-82 Illinois. Marcus Damask out front. Holds it off the right hip. Hepburn defending. We've got Klesman on Shannon now. Shannon has the ball. Shot clock at 10. Shannon left of the lane. Scoops it up. Blocked out of bounds by Crow. Shot clock at 8. Game clock at 229. 83-82. Illinois as Luke Goody is set to check back in for the Illini. He'll sub in for Ty Rogers. 
Illinois inbounding, baseline left. It's good in the game. you got to make sure you stay attached to him. He's the shooter, but they're going to get drivers or some action. You can't help too much on him and give it an open one. Store is on Goody. Damask baseline left, looking. A lob it to Shannon, catching and scoring. Flying in the lane on the catch of the flip. 85-82, Illinois. 2.22 remaining. Here's Carter Gilmore, hands off the store. He's with Hawkins, who slapped it away. Store gets it back along the left sideline. AJ will feed Crowell at the top. Hands off to Hepburn. Chucky off to Klesman against Damask at the right point. Shot clock at 10. Gilmore out of the circle. Carter looking for help. Dribbling out high. Shot clock at 5. Here's Klesman at the top. Takes the 3. Takes the 3. Tie game! Cold-blooded. Max Klesman ties it at 85. A minute 50 remaining. The mass front court for Illinois. Hepburn defending. 145 to play for the title. The mass between the circles retreats to the midcourt circle. 15 to shoot, 138 to play. The mass will give it up to Shannon. He's with Klesman, 10 to shoot. Shannon around a danger screen, throwing to Hawkins. Whips it back to Shannon for three, left of the circle. It's good. And a timeout taken by Illinois as Terrence Shannon Jr. with a big three. 30-second timeout taken with a minute 26 to play. 88-85, Illinois. And it came off of a drive. Kick out to Coleman Hawkins. Coleman Hawkins with the shot fake. Carter Gilmore flies. Goes for the shot fake because of that. Someone needed to come all of a sudden, one more kick to Terrence Shannon Jr. He has 31 points today, three of six from three. Badgers, that timeout was taken by Illinois, so Greg Gard still has two timeouts available. Brad Underwood has one. Illinois has the possession arrow. And that, that, that timeout there is defensively to try to make sure you're set because you know Max is going to be in some actions. AJ is going to come get the ball, all of it. Tyler Wall is fouled out, so Gilmore in there for Wisconsin along with Store, Crowd, Klesman, and Hepburn. As Gilmore puts it in play to Chucky. And a slow jog it through the center circle. A feed for Klesman, high on the right. Max left-hand dribble. Tried to step back, lost the handle, regains control. Turns down the crowd screen, throws to Stevie up top. Crowd picked up the dribble, right of the circle. It's a store 10 to shoot. AJ trying to attack, lost it. Taken away by Terrence Shannon. Racing back, it's Klesman. Shannon down the lane, throws it up. No, but a foul. And he goes back to the free throw line with 62 seconds remaining. Illinois up 88 to 85. The driving lane there for AJ just wasn't there. Shannon took it away and he goes back to the foul line. Klesman with his third foul. He's 12 of 13 at the free throw line. up his 40-point performance yesterday with another masterpiece. He has 31 and make it 32 as his free throw rolls in. 89-85 Illinois. 102 remaining. Second free throw coming up. The fifth year senior out of Chicago. On the way and good. 90 to 85 Illinois. We're down to one minute to play. Hepburn, right sideline, front court. Driving on Shannon in the lane. Pushed it up. Rolls off. No good. Goody the rebound. Now Shannon got by Klesman. Crowell is back. And Crowell fouls Shannon. And the Badgers, oh, empty possessions. They, they put 85 on the board. But some empty possessions here at crunch time. Proving costly. Not over yet, but Shannon goes back to the foul line where he's missed just once in 15 tries. Yeah, and I, I thought there was a lot, enough contact there. Nice looking at the replay now, Matt. Mm -hmm. Crowell with his fourth foul. We talked about that foul on Tyler Wall. Probably the same call. Should have probably... Should have probably gotten it. You did. Now you try to play this game, extend it out. You're down by six. First free throw, good. John Blackwell in for Carter Gilmore. 91-85 Illinois. Ty Rogers will come back in for Dane Danger. Second free throw coming up for Terrence Shannon Jr. High 
Eyes the rim. Free throw is on the way, and it's short. Rebound crowd. Badgers down six. 48 seconds left. Hepburn throwing to Klesman for three. Straight on. That's going to be short. No good. Hepburn rising up for the rebound. He got hammered by Terrence Shannon Jr. Boy, Chucky really getting up in the air. And he'll go to the free throw line for two shots as the Badgers are in the double bonus with 41.8 seconds remaining. 91-85, Illinois. Chucky Hepburn with 18 points today. He had 22 yesterday against Purdue. First free throw good for Hepburn. And if you're Wisconsin, you're in this. You hope Chucky makes this. No, you've got a foul. The guy to foul is Rodgers at a 62%. See if you can take away the other players. See if you can get the ball in Rodgers' hands. And that's the guy you want to foul. McGee in, Crowell out. 91-86 Illinois. Second free throw good for Hepburn. 91-87 Illinois. Rodgers will be throwing it in with 41.8 to play. No one on him. Presses on. Inbound pass on. Ooh, that's a guy to get. Got there too late. Here's Shannon. Gets Chuck it to the mask. Here's the lane. Goes up, and he got fouled by Kamari McGee. And Chucky was trying to get to Rodgers. Chucky Rogers. was trying to get to Rodgers, but Brian Dorsey didn't see it. He didn't see it. They tried to take it. McGee with the foul on the mask. The officials busting in there, but he was helping him up, and and the, now I mean, they're, they're going to look at the monitor. They're going to look at this. I hope this isn't. I mean, that's a basketball it's, it, play. It, it, Matt, it is. It is. <laughs> but unfortunately, I've seen it called F1s more than I like this year. There, there is Throughout the there, whole league. I'm going to tell you right now, there is if, zero there. I just looked at oh, it. No, there's there zero, there. zero I, there. I, I, there's zero there. Yeah, this should take about three more seconds. It's not going to. It should. It should. It should. I mean, this, this, ain't, this ain't brain surgery, guys. We have 35.5 seconds left in the game, 91-87, Illinois leading Wisconsin. I mean, Lamar McGee is in there just trying to yeah, stop yeah. a layup. There was nothing, nothing above the head or shoulders. It's not, it's, it's literally there's a guy that's basketball. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, boys. And I really thought it started because Chucky tried to get Ty Rogers. I thought he did. I mean, Brian Dorsey had his head turned. Yeah, they're going to play basketball here. Free throws coming up. So no flagrant one. 35.5 seconds remaining. It's 91-87. Illinois is Marcus Damask, who is 7 of 8 at the foul line. 24 points for him. 7 rebounds and 8 assists. Two shots coming up for Damask. And what that delay did was give everybody a chance to catch breath and get a freebie timeout. First free throw, Damask is good. Illinois just terrific at the foul line here today. Now 25 of 29. Badgers are 20 of 23. Crowell back in for Wisconsin, replacing McGee. Second free throw coming up for Damask. Is on the way, and it's good. 93-87, Illinois, 35 seconds left. Hepburn to the front court, down to 30 seconds. Chucky picked up the dribble, throws it out to Crowell, hands it back to Hepburn. High on the left, 24 seconds left. Store for three, up top, off the left side iron. Hepburn runs it down, left corner contested three, is off the side of the glass, and Shannon gets the rebound and throws it out of traffic ahead to Coleman Hawkins with 10 seconds left. Hepburn a near steal. Hawkins will dribble it out. He'll give it to Goody. Flips to Rogers. Back to Goody. And the Illinois Fighting Illini will be the Big Ten Tournament Champions. A heck of a game. Illinois will end up six points better this afternoon. It was a great college basketball game, man. It really was. We've seen a couple of them. Here in this tournament for Wisconsin, we've seen four good games. A ridiculously good performance against Maryland. A good, very good performance against a gritty Northwestern team. A classic yesterday. And, you know, this would hit the category of classic as well. Just not the ending the Badgers and their fans were hoping for. 
I thought I thought Chucky played great. I thought he brought a lot of energy. And we talked about there was a play where Wisconsin could have gone up 10. They did everything they needed to do. They didn't finish it. Illinois gets it. Comes down. Bangs a three. It's a five-point game instead of a, a nine-point game. Excuse me. I thought it was or a ten-point game. But that was the turning point. But, man, did this team show a lot of grit, a lot of toughness. Well, there is enough evidence to show that getting here could mean a little, a lot, or absolutely nothing to the NCAA tournament. But suffice to say, if the Badgers can continue to bottle up this effort, we have seen at the end of the regular season and through four games here, they got a chance to dance for a little while, would you say? Oh, there's no question. And most importantly, this group believes. You know, I mean, they that do. effort, like, we couldn't say that coming to Minneapolis. We, we thought we could. Yep. We tried to say it. Yep, tried to believe it. Tried to, but, yeah. I mean, yeah. they were playing better basketball. But after this week, weekend, you can't tell me that you can't put together something here. Final score this afternoon, Illinois 93, Wisconsin 87. We're back with the Wisconsin Ford Dealers postgame show in a couple of minutes. This is Badger Basketball from Learfield. Hey, son, how are you feeling? Um, I'm fine, Pops. What's on your mind? I just, I can't explain it. I'm on the game team. I got accomplished. I was waiting. Started to wonder. When your kid can't find the language, help them find the lyrics. Listen to the Sound It Out album and get tips and tools to start a conversation at SoundItOutTogether.org. Brought to you by Ad Council and Pivotal Ventures. Adoption of teens from foster care is a topic not enough people know about, and we're here to change that. I'm April Dinwiddie, host of the new podcast, Navigating Adoption, presented by Adopt US Kids. Each episode brings you compelling real-life adoption stories told by the families that live them with commentary from experts. Visit adoptuskids.org slash podcast or subscribe to Navigating Adoption, presented by Adopt US Kids. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Administration for Children and Families and the Ad Council. Tom has been a teacher for over 40 years. One day, I think one of the students had asked the question and he didn't remember the answer. And I also noticed that he was letting his class out earlier than they were supposed to let out. I was really starting to worry. Levi and I talked about how it would change our lives beside me. When something feels different, now is the time to talk. Visit alz.org slash our stories to learn more. A message from the Alzheimer's Association and the Ad Council. Victor deployed for the first time to Afghanistan in 2003. He sustained a moderate traumatic brain injury. One of the most important elements of caregiving is taking care of yourself. For many military veteran caregivers, their caregiving journey starts earlier in life and lasts longer. Visit aarp.org caregiving for a free military veteran's guide to navigate your caregiving journey and better care for your loved one and yourself. Brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. The Wisconsin Badger postseason is presented by Everlight Solar. Save money, save the planet. Today's game is also brought to you by your Wisconsin Ford dealers, inviting you to visit your local Ford store or buyfordnow.com. Fabic Cat, your cat equipment dealer throughout Badgerland. SeatGeek, official ticket marketplace of the Wisconsin Badgers. And by UW Health Sports Medicine, treating the Badgers, treating you. Visit uwsportsmedicine.org. Welcome to the Badger Post Game Show. Our Wisconsin Ford dealers post-game show as Illinois outlasting Wisconsin this afternoon in a terrific college basketball game. 93 to 87. A Max Klesman three in the final two minutes. Pulled Wisconsin even at 85, but Illinois outscoring Wisconsin the rest of the way. Eight to two. Alongside Brian Butch, I'm Matt LePay. I've always thought Butchie and you can address this far better than I, but I'm on the worst feelings that any player could have is when the confetti's flying and it ain't for you. It was coming down and the Badger players have just had to go through the handshake line and get into the locker room while Illinois gets set to collect a trophy. Absolutely, I've done it. <laughs> I've been on both sides. I've lived I've been on both sides, thankfully. Um, there's nothing worse. And then especially at this part of it, now go act happy about the NCAA tournament. 
Yeah. And it's it's tough. It's tough, but I think this team could show that. And it, uh, man, they played well. That that's the thing. It'd be different if you didn't feel like they played well. They had a chance down the shot down the stretch here. I thought they played some some really good basketball, and uh, it just doesn't go their way. That's sports. That's what. That, that's the reality of it. Uh, Illinois made a couple more plays down the stretch, but this team. Any questions that were out there about them should be over. I'm just going to say that to Badger fans right now. You know, they, they were getting loud for whatever reason, because that's what fans sometimes do. Hey, they answered all the questions. Now enjoy the ride of March, however long that is. Yeah, well, they'll find out where they'll be riding to in relatively short Let's hope order. it's Friday. Yeah, <laughs> for their sake. For their sake, absolutely. For, absolutely, and, you know, Illinois probably thinking much same the thing. same thing. Doesn't always work that way, but that's what you're hoping for, and we'll see the matchups here for Wisconsin, what that looks like, the seed. You know, is it is it five? Is it six? But I mean, to me, it's what's the style of play of your opponent. We'll all start to get answers to that quite soon. Illinois ninety three, Wisconsin eighty seven. More of our Wisconsin Ford dealers post game show is coming up with Butchie's breakdown. This is Badger basketball from Learfield. Ho Chunk Gaming Madison, home of the Big Win and Madison Casino Guru, is transforming guests into winners. Making an ordinary day into a big win day is easy with a 95% average payout. And with over 140 daily jackpots, the number of people winning has never been bigger. So what are you waiting for? Escape to Ho Chunk Gaming Madison for your next big win. believe in education. We believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. WEABenefits.com. That's WEABenefits.com. WEA Member Benefits is a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Hey, Badger fans, Tony Drake with Drake & Associates, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. How do you prepare for the big game? You strategize, right? Well, retirement is your ultimate big game. And without a solid plan, it's like stepping onto the court without practice. But here's the game changer. Claim your Retirement Ready Toolkit for free from Drake & Associates. Just text Bucky to 262-600-2782. That's Bucky to 262-600-2782. Our Retirement Ready Roadmap is your playbook for financial success. Let's slam dunk your retirement goals together because at Drake & Associates, we're your winning strategy for a financial game plan. Drake & Associates is an independent investment advisory firm that offers different investment vehicles. All insurance products are backed by the issuing insurance company. This commercial is provided for informational purposes only. I'm Sawyer. And I'm Shannon. Together, we're Twin Stunts, the only twin motorcycle freestyle show in the world. We are born and raised in Wisconsin, so we want all our fellow cheeseheads to know that even though we clutch it up, hit 12, and drift in our show... We would never do it on the open road. And there's another thing we would never do on the road. Drive, drive drunk. drunk. Drive sober. Or get pulled over. Together, we can save lives. Learn more at zeroinwisconsin.gov. Wisconsin DOT. Any team can be conquered with the right playbook. It takes human ingenuity to craft and adapt the plays that will defeat even the strongest opponents. The moves that dominate on the field, the court, the ice. And cancer treatment is no different. That's why UW Health Carbone Cancer Center uses ingenuity to combat complex cancers. As the number one cancer hospital in Wisconsin, we're proud to write the playbook on fighting cancer so you always have the number one team in your corner. UW Health. Remarkable. We continue with our Wisconsin Ford Dealers postgame show as Illinois defeats Wisconsin this afternoon, 93-87. to The Illini claiming the Big Ten Tournament Championship. Time now for a Butchie's breakdown. What you got for us, Brian? Well, it really comes down to one sequence in this game. It's sitting there at eight points. Wisconsin drives, miss the layup, get a second chance opportunity. They drive again, doesn't go their way. Long rebound leads to an Illinois runout. 
all of a sudden they bang a three. It's a five-point game. And at that point, it kind of turned a little bit. The what if it would have been to get it to 10, I think we're sitting here a little bit different. Yeah, Badgers yeah, led at one point, 61-51, and then Illinois, they erased that in, in pretty so, short order. No question. And then Illinois uh, led by uh, you know, getting into that two-possession range. And then Max Klesman hit a three to tie the game at 85, and there was a minute 50 remaining when he hit that shot. But from there, Illinois came back. Terrence Shannon, a cold-blooded three. It became really the Shannon show. Three free throws, and then Marcus Damask with two more. And why that three was so important, talking earlier in the day, it was limit transition. It was a transition three. Yeah. Limit free throws. Well, because of that run, then it got to Terrence Shannon. He beat the free throw line. And then they did a good job rebounding the ball. They did everything they needed to. A couple of those things. And then in, in, in March... That's what it is, man. It's little things. It's so close, it's right? It's little things, and those sequences are why things change. Yep, so and, and that's the reality of it. So the sting of this for Wisconsin will last a little bit, but you know, they're going to be finding out who they're playing, when and where. It's you know, the weirdest of things. Talk about it every year, even for the Illinois guys out there. They're a fired-up group as well. It should be. Um, but... Their attention is going to be turning here pretty soon as this is the last game played before the selection show. It's something the Big Ten administrators love to have because of the exposure. Coaches maybe not so much, but for Illinois right now, you don't care about that. You won the game. You so, won the game, yeah. absolutely. Illinois wins it 93-87. to We'll have more. We'll check out the Nissan out-of-town scoreboard. Coming up, this is Badger basketball from the airfield. Don't you wish your life came with a warning app? Stop. That dog does not want to be petted. <laughs> a heads up before something bad happens. You should not send that text. Uh-oh. Life doesn't always give you time to change the outcome, but pre-diabetes does. With early diagnosis and a few healthy changes, you can reverse pre-diabetes and prevent or delay type 2 diabetes. To learn your risk, take the one-minute test today at doihaveprediabetes.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and its pre-diabetes awareness partners. Uh-oh, Brad's buzzed. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he's starting with the woots. <laughs> and now a speech. I just want to say that friendship is about heart. Heart and brain. Who's with me? Good thing is, he knows when he's buzzed. And my brain is saying, when it's time to go home, somebody call me a ride. Love that guy. Me too. Know your buzzed warning signs? Call for a ride when it's time to go home. Buzz driving is drunk driving. A message from NHTSA and the Ad Council. <laughs> Post game coverage continues as Illinois takes down Wisconsin this afternoon in the Big Ten Conference Tournament Championship game, 93 to 87. A check of the Nissan out of town scoreboard on this championship Sunday in the American Athletic Conference. Temple looking to steal one, didn't happen. UAB beat them 85 to 69. The A10 Championship belongs to Duquesne, defeating B uh, VCU. 57-51, Bruce Pearl's Auburn Tigers take the ACC tournament title, 86-67 over Florida, and Yale is your Ivy League champs, defeating Brown, 62-61. Illinois, 93, Wisconsin, 87. We'll have more as our Wisconsin Four Dealers postgame show continues. This is Badger Basketball from Learfield. Are you seeking a better career? Rail Transport offers truck drivers a variety of driving jobs earning top wages. No CDL? No problem. Get paid to get your CDL with Rail's on-the-job paid training program. We're also seeking top talent for driver and customer support positions. To see all the career opportunities at Rail and how you can take home more and be home more, visit rail.jobs. That's rail.jobs. Rail Transport is a proud sponsor of the Badgers. Trusted by car enthusiasts and professionals alike, Gunk Engine Degreaser is a highly effective automotive cleaning solution designed specifically to eliminate grease, grime, and oil deposits from your vehicle's engine. Gunk not only promotes optimal engine performance, but extends the lifespan of your vehicle's components as well. For performance you can rely on, ask for Gunk Engine Degreaser. All the auto parts you need at the value you expect. Now that's bumper to bumper, where service is the difference. We get it. 
You're at the game with your girl and you're going to pop the question. So you take a big swig of overpriced liquid courage. You pull the ring out of your pocket, get down on one knee, and then she says, Um, I need to go to the bathroom. And you realize the whole stadium is watching. Proposing on a jumbotron? Big gamble. Pochunk Gaming Wisconsin Dells, better odds. We're your can't miss hot spot for big time casino fun. Pochunk Gaming Wisconsin Dells. Your odds are better here. The big game. Family. Friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burger, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. Sean Clary here. I have been told we need to include a younger demo in our commercials. So like your local sports teams, I thought I would bring a DJ to stay. <laughs> Whoa, uh, maybe we need to work on that. He is right, though. Check us out at clearybuilding.com for the building of your dreams. Sean Cleary out. Listen up, Badger fans. Are you looking to save money while also saving the planet? Well, you can do just that with Everlight Solar, the largest residential solar company in Wisconsin. With our zero out-of-pocket program, any homeowner can win with solar energy by simply shifting what you already pay for power to pay for solar panels instead. Visit EverlightSolar.com today to schedule your no-cost consultation. With zero out-of-pocket along with generous tax incentives and rebates, it's a no-brainer for any homeowning Badger fan. Everlight Solar, a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Our Wisconsin Ford Dealers postgame show continues as Illinois defeats the Badgers here this afternoon, 93-87. to Well, the next storyline, as far as the Big Ten is concerned, is kind of win some games in this thing. I, I mean, think they can, Matt. I, 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 it, as much as this team has, and this, not team, conference, has had bad tournament performances with more teams... I think less teams is going to lead to longer Big Ten teams. I just do. I think this Illinois team, you know, they can play with anybody there. Purdue, I think I don't see a first-round exit. Nebraska, the way they move the ball offensively, better defense, like what they've done mm -hmm. defensively. This Wisconsin team, like I don't think th there's enough, like I expect longer. And I might be wrong. I mean, I, I'm, we're close to it. Right. So I might, be, I might see with Big Ten goggles. I don't think so. I've watched enough college basketball, though. All things are cyclical, and this has been a conference at a bad cycle as far as NCAA tournament success goes. Um, I, I'm thinking, tell me what you think. You know, last year, the Big Ten had a lot of teams in the muddled middle seats, right? Seven For three, sure. Ten. I don't know. I mean, you want to get out of the 8-9 game. You don't want to mess around second round with, with UConn Correct. or Houston, you know, all the, all the predictables. Correct. But otherwise, Brian, I don't know if there's going to be a... Is there really going to be that much difference between a 4 and a 13 in some cases, depending on so. style of play and all of that? No, right? I don't think so. Um, we've seen it. I mean, we cried a lot. We saw it yesterday. You had three of the teams that have been... There's been three teams that have been dominant. Dominant. Guess what? Two of those three lost yesterday. <laughs> like... I mean, and those three have been above everybody else. Yeah, and and really so much of this. Actually, let's pause first for uh, 10 seconds for station identification. 10 for an ID. This is Badger Basketball from Learfield. Uh, such a, I guess it's a captain obvious statement here as we continue with our post game coverage. Too, so much of this is going to be health. Everybody is hurting in some way, shape, or form. But and we saw, you know, Max Klesman was able to finish the game and he knocked down some big time threes. But he needed the exercise bike. We know, you know, he was struggling there with the health a little bit. Tyler Wall uh, played through. He's but he hasn't been great with with Purdue. You know, how healthy is it? Braden Smith hasn't looked quite like himself. Oh, yeah. the, the big one in, in our state, obviously, um, or another big one in our state, but one of the big stories in the tournament is Tyler Kolick. Uh They held him out of the Big East tournament, out with the oblique injury, 
A, can he come back this week? And B, how effective can he be? If the answer is, yeah, he's effective, then Marquette could be in for some magic here. In the, but it just you know, We saw it with Wisconsin a couple years ago. Johnny Davis got hurt. He was hurt in a practice the day before the Purdue game. Then he got hurt against uh, Nebraska. Chucky Hepburn goes down in round two, and all of a sudden, everything changes. changes. Absolutely. So that's the, uh, we're 30 minutes away from figuring out where Wisconsin's going and what you're doing. And, and now if you're if you're that locker room, or been in the locker room that has lost a Big Ten cha- tournament championship, it's about, all right, regroup, kind of find out what this group's about. The positive about that is this group went through February. Yes. They've answered the bell. They've answered the questions, right? Like, they've answered it. They, they know how to bounce back. They've done it. Yeah, they're a team with a, with a ton of inner toughness. They're a happy-go-lucky group. They like to laugh yeah. and do every, just about everything together. But you know, it's impossible not to hear it when you're struggling, you know, and that's just how life works. So if you're them, or like any team in America, you save the receipts, get your act together, and this Wisconsin team was able to do that. Now we'll see how that translates into the NCAA tournament. Illinois, a winner here today, 93-87. to Back to close things off here in Minneapolis in one minute. This is Badger Basketball from Learfield. Famous worst mockers Bob and Tony in the smokehouse. <laughs> Beef, summer sausage, and salami. And because they're from Usingers, you know they're the best. Made with all lean beef and imported spices, cured and smoked the old world way. Because quality has been Usinger's number one ingredient for more than a century. Ah. <laughs> Made right here in Milwaukee since 1880. Usinger's, America's finesta Worcester. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you bet. Life's better with an auto policy from American Family Insurance. No matter what dreams you're driving towards. That's because our expert agents will make you feel totally protected with the right auto coverage at the right price. You'll also save up to 23% when you bundle auto with home. American Family Insurance. Get a quote, find an agent at AmFam.com. Products not available in every state. Visit AmFam.com to learn how discounts may apply to you. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, S.I. and its operating company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. Wrapping up our Wisconsin Four Dealers postgame show as Illinois defeats Wisconsin here today, 93 to 87. So your first Big Ten tournament on this side of it. How'd you like it? Oh, it was great. <laughs> this first year's been great. It's it's been awesome. I uh, love the way that the guys played, the passion that they showed. It's a special time of year. I love playing in it. Um, glad that these guys have had this taste in their mouth. Obviously, you like to win it, but just advance it a little bit farther. Um, in the last couple of years, it, it's special. I mean, it is. And uh, I loved every minute of it. And maybe the best is yet to come. Who knows? Absolutely. Sounds you like don't know. That's, yeah. that's the beautiful thing of March. But you get on the road back to Appleton, brother. We'll see you in a few days. We'll, <laughs> we'll see, see you in a few days. We'll see you in a few days is right. All right. Final score here this afternoon, Illinois 93, Wisconsin 87. This broadcast is a copyrighted presentation of Badger Sports Properties, a property of Learfield, under the broadcasting rights granted by the University of Wisconsin. Rebroadcast or reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the express written consent of the University of Wisconsin at Badger Sports Properties. The announcers are employed by the Badger Network with the approval of the University of Wisconsin. The general manager of Badger Sports Properties is Scott Silvestri. For Brian Butch, our engineer Dave McCann and Mike Henderson back at our studio, this is Matt LePay. Hoping you'll join us in just a few days as the Badgers jump into the NCAA tournament. Thanks for listening. This is the Badger Sports Network from Learfield. The Wisconsin Badger postseason is presented by Everlight Solar. Save money, save the planet. Today's game is also brought to you by Alliant Energy. Powering beyond. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully. Dream fearlessly. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison and Ho-Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Dells. Proud casino partners of UW Athletics. And by Fabic Rents. For all your equipment rental needs throughout Badgerland. The preceding has been a Learfield presentation of the Badger Sports Network.